All right. Little Red Dog Games. A third trash game known as Rogue State. Clifford. Endless mode, petroleum theocracy. Haven't tried endless mode. We're gonna go the we're gonna go the distance or for the next five hours. We'll see what we hit first. Okay. I see I notice here that we don't have Farouk in endless mode. Of course, uh, the text there beneath Endless Mode is that there's no storyline events and uh, high score as well as achievements are disabled, so we're not going to get the Basenji Liberation Front achievement. But I'm kind of curious to try uh, Endless Mode, because I never have. And also, like, how will the game cease being endless? Because I can balance this country pretty damn easily. Like, will it just have, like, will the people become exceptionally, like, harder to please? Will the random events just beggar my country? Will we encounter the, the sickness plus the financial plus who knows what simultaneously? I am excited to discover. Right, so our positions that we're going to fill, I do believe, will be the same positions I like to fill. Defense. Foreign. And communications. Uh, as useful as money is, I don't think it's as important as either of these. Uh, making sure that military approval is good. Uh, boosting foreign relations and allowing me to interact with special foreign deals. And boosting approval with all factions. The extra three million per turn. I mean, I guess I don't know how long this is going to run. But on the flip side, there's no point in putting money into my Swiss bank account because there's no high score, right? An intelligence minister... <laughs> First, no. It's not my first time playing this game. Excellency, my name is Tariq Badur. Your name is dumb. No, leave me alone. As you wish, Excellency. What do you want? Greetings, Your Excellency. Ah. I am President Hamad and on behalf of Sania. I wanted to be the first to welcome the liberation of the people to the Salma. Once the do not... Thank you for your... There... Good. Have a joke. Two hunters are out in the woods. One of them... The up... The back... Wish there was more jokes in this game. Tough crowd. <laughs> we would like to deepen... Long-standing cooperation. cooperation. ...that exists between our two nations. The potential, of course, always exists for our countries to grow closer. He said countries. Alright. Good chat, everyone. So. Let's begin with rebuilding the country. We'll restore the water and sewage. We'll rebuild power infrastructure. And... Interesting choice here for me. I feel. Uh, similar to the finance minister here. Like, I don't know how long... Hold on. You know what, Indy? I'm about to give you a fucking gift. No, don't you run from me. Indy, get back. <laughs> don't you gallop down the stairs. Go get back up here. You're staying up here with me. <laughs> give me this collar. This collar is dumb. And everything about it is dumb. You're free. That's right. Freedom. Go play. Okay, <laughs> so now that's over. Uh, by getting the medical team, like, that would save me an extra three million dollars for however many turns we might go. A hundred? Two hundred? Could very well pay for itself in the long run more than getting these things set up, like, two turns sooner. So I'm willing to play around with it. I usually pick the, the engineering team anyway. No, it's still fucking stupid, too. Because of the fact that 
by getting the oil sooner, you can sell it sooner. And make more money in the fucking, like, that's two extra turns of maybe like 10 to 20 more million dollars. Which would probably end up paying. For. Well, then there's like the, like there's like the, like what you sacrifice. Fuck it, fine. We'll just fucking pick the medical teams. I'm not gonna, not gonna think about it more than I just did. Fine. So what do our approval ratings start out at? Pretty good. Except with the liberals, of course. Uh, we picked a setting. To go along with our endless mode, we are rolling with a petroleum theocracy. Uh, you start this game with oil guaranteed as one of your resources and have a bonus with the fundamentalist. All right. So there's that. Uh, what else do I want to take care of? <coughs> Let's see here. Excuse me. Um, something I want to make sure that I do is uh, open borders with everyone. <laughs> Which will give me extra money from tourism. I cannot sell weapons yet because uh, I do not have a loyal enough foreign minister. None of the ministers in the cabinet start with a high enough approval rating. But we already do start with a fundamentalist supporter courtesy of our uh, oil theocracy. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do here is adjust my policies. So, do I feel like putting money in the disaster relief fund tax? Another thing I'm curious about is whether, like, events are just gonna recycle themselves. I mean, I imagine they would if the game runs long enough, because we're endless. Or so it is. So it is told. Another thing I'm not sure about is whether I'm gonna set the liberals on fire and throw them under the bus. I haven't decided yet. And it's pretty convenient to, like, throw them under the bus, and I can always, like, fix the liberals later. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way I think. If you couldn't tell. I've also got plenty of, like, fundamentalist support to lose here at the beginning. Like, I can sacrifice some of that. It's not that big of a deal. Right. I'm gonna have no work visas at all. Oh, no work visas to uh, keep my job score, or job rating low unemployment. Uh, that way I can run taxes higher. Uh, the capitalists won't like that as much, but that's okay. Patriots are really happy with me right now. So we'll probably even this out. Oh wow, they don't really care that much about, uh... I like running the death penalty, though. <laughs> you know, I like running the death penalty, as you do. Keep that alcoholic consumption ban. Will you stop making bodily noises back there? This is why I don't invite animals to my live broadcast. Don't you wag your tail at me. I'm very upset with you over what you did earlier, Indy. Um, <laughs> is there anything else I feel like doing? <laughs> No, disaster relief fund. It's just a fucking tax on your resources. If we run into a disaster event, it happens. Am I okay with this setup, though? Fundamentalists are gonna throw a hissy fit. Well, I mean, you know, religious people, right? What can you do? Hmm. Okay, what resources are on the board in this game? We got two sources of plastics. I'm gonna have a guaranteed source of oil, so Tajikistan, obviously, uh, he's already got that on the board. Okay. 
I wouldn't mind seeing some oil and media products. Those are my two favorite resources in the game. Asania then could be my confirmed trading partner, no matter what. And that wouldn't be so bad. Any of these uh, two I feel like calling? Goethea. Uh, that's also the person who was in my first game. Uh, him and... Uh, Zalber... Zarbil, Zarbil, and, uh, god damn it, now I can't even remember her name, Babelistan, there we go, completely doesn't matter, irrelevant, um, I don't feel like, well, I guess there is something I do feel like adjusting, and that is, I will actually move everyone inland in case the defense minister offers me a job, to put people on the borders, or has a request of me. He's not offering me a job. I'm the glorious fucking leader, damn it. Okay. Good turn. Alright. Well. I mean, yeah. Why don't you help us, America? Patriots love America's help. Great. I'm glad. And that makes the people grow more patriotic. Of course, I have to wait until next turn to continue advancing the reconstruction path. I haven't taken a look at the taxes ledger. What are we sitting at right now for taxes? 14%, huh? <sighs> Hmm. I tell you what, we'll, uh... It's gonna cost me some money. It's not gonna cost me that much money. I'm gonna make sure approval ratings stay alright for now, and we'll experiment with burning all of our bridges later. So we'll go ahead and adjust that. And, uh, I guess we'll spend the rest of the turn uh, calling everyone else. Thank you for taking my call. Tell a joke. What's the best part about living in Switzerland? Not sure, but the flag is a big plus. <laughs> we would like to do... We do not currently see many opportunities for... Oh. Boy, yeah. How could you do that to me? Western imperialism, that's why you did that to me, right? We are, we are glad to see you are not afraid. We will stand with you as brothers and sisters in the fight against tyranny. That's right. Down with America. Apologies, but I must go. Let us speak again later. Goodbye. It's also nice to play a round of this where I start with reasonable relationships with all of my, uh... All of my neighbors. And America, because I don't have a nuke. All right, Tajikistan. Thank you for taking my call. A woman has twins and gives. You've seen them one. You've seen them all. Her husband responds, "But they are twins. If you've seen one, you've seen them all." Tough crowd. We would like to deepen cooperation. The potential, of course, always exists for our countries to grow closer. Glad. I'm glad. The old ways. It is our... You have manipulated... Oh, why? Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> why would you feel that way about the old ways? And let's call it America. Good day, Ambassador. Would you be free to meet sometime in the next few weeks? It is always a pleasure, Your Excellency. I would be happy to meet... God, her stare is kind of fucking creepy, isn't it? <laughs> Well, it's good to have this event now. What could you possibly remove from me? Thank you for seeing me, Ambassador. It is my pleasure. I'm not sure whether I've had her in a game that hasn't had her just be super pissed at me because I had a nuke. What, did I have her in the game 
that I, I actually lost because I was testing out the whole Russia will support me thing by telling her to go fuck herself. I can't recall. Tell me, how are you enjoying our country? I have always been passionate about Basenji and its people. I'm very happy to be posted here. Holy fuck, her face is so dead. It is always a delight seeing you, Ambassador. The highlight of my day, even. Like, you are too kind. Like, Thank you, Your Excellency. Her face looks as if it's been, like, carved out of a wooden puppet, and she belongs as, like, part of, like, that horrific, like, puppet ensemble, like the Puppet Masters movies. Like, were those from, like, the 80s, early 90s? Uh, yeah, like, just, I mean, I don't, I don't mean to shame an individual based on their appearances. I, I mean, there is no shame in that at all. <laughs> She's just fucking terrifying. I mean, really, that's a compliment. <laughs> Insights. Tell me, Ambassador. It's not really appropriate for me to be spreading gossip about your neighbors. Help me. Basenji's political situation is dire. I beg of you, please help me regain the support of my people. Frankly, we're gonna sit this one out and see where the chips are going to fall before offering our support to anyone. Oh, you will change your tune when the oil comes pouring in, lady. I believe that is all I have to say for the moment. Very well. Thank you for your hospitality. I hope we can chat again soon. I actually think, like, angry, like, or cross ambassadorial face looks, uh, less scary than, like, that neutral placid look. I am such a- I'm a puppet shamer, that's how I am. <laughs> puppet shamer. All right. <laughs> We're working on this. We'll have to wait two more turns. And then we will get access to the oil. Then everyone can be happy. Our tax uh, collection is more efficient now. <laughs> I know, Lethal. I get a decent bit of tourism cash thanks to my open borders, and when the tourist, uh, the terrorist events come pouring in. Also, Klendathu Bagmanes! Once again, raising my fist in the air as I am wont to do whenever that appears. Damn you! This will also give us the opportunity during this endless run to build more than, like, one or two of the secret projects. I think we'll end up seeing all of these. I'll even show off the time machine on camera. That's right, the time machine. <sighs> what I'll probably end up getting first is uh, the, the giant hydroelectric dam, because if this is an endless mode, that will really pay for itself. I'm not going to grab it now. I don't think. Because I remember starting off of that really quick and then it being very, very painful for my country to run that extensive millions and millions on upkeep costs. Um, hmm. Unless I throw the liberals under the bus. It always comes back to them, doesn't it? <laughs> The game just feels like so much easier to support after throwing the, after I discovered the joys of throwing the liberals under the bus. I just need this money for reconstruction, damn it. I can't be affording secret projects now. Well, what the hell do I want to do with my turns, then? I guess nothing. Now, do keep in mind that we uh, are at risk for going to war because we don't have a nuke and... Folks will attack us, so there, there is that consideration too. We'll probably do some fighting in this endless run. That is so much money to be investing in that. I always feel a little nervous whenever I start the dam. Because the fact that you can't guarantee its success... Nah, I want this money for, uh, 
doing some stabilizing once I finish reconstruction. You know what? I'll have oil money. Yeah, I'll, I'll have oil money. Fuck it, let's get started. We can probably afford to have the country go a little bad shit crazy. I mean... Look at all this money we'll have. Yeah! We'll run 50% taxes for a turn, and then we'll lower them in the next turn, and then we'll keep lowering them, and it'll just feel like, you know, I'm, I'm giving good things to the people, and they'll be happier. Yes. Yes. Yes, I like this reasoning. Yes. Yes. My jaw has been slightly agape since the screen popped up and I had my hand up to my mouth for a bit. Cause I'm like staring at this and going, could this be the thing that unlocks it? But I've sent America after the terrorists before. Probably just a little hiccup. Oh well, we'll see what comes of that. We'll see what comes of that. I am, I am most interested. Okay, the primary reason why approval uh, vanished like that, of course, was... <laughs> I'm too used to fucking printing money. I'm like, well, let me go print money before I end my turn. Can't do that. Uh, was because, of course, the event that popped up. Can you exile Farouk and make him return later as Victor? Like, well, in this mode, like, Farouk isn't, like, even in the game. But, of course, whenever, in the last run of this, uh, when I provoke the Civil War, like, Farouk gets exiled. And it transitions shortly thereafter into a Civil War that doesn't really involve Farouk, Larian. You would know that because you watched that broadcast, according to what you said. <laughs> There's nothing I really want to do with this, Darren. I'm just gonna hold steady. Well, let's go see what progress is being made on the dam after one turn. No, Bobo. F A R O U K. Not that Farouk. Not wrestling Farouk. Alright, 83% probability of success. That'll only dwindle. And we'll feel impotent and... And that's it. Uh... I guess trying to keep tourism money matters. Let's make reforms. Dismissive hand gesture. Alright, how much money are we losing? I mean, how much approval are we losing? I mean, it's not that bad. I mean... Now we'll lower taxes. And people will feel great. See, we lower taxes, everyone. You can be happy. Let's get our oil. Oh, plastics! A fucking course, you trash game! The Senji possesses oil, one of the most important commodities in the region. Like any other commodity, you can form preferential trading relationships with your neighbor states. Now, in addition to this, by producing oil, your relationship with the U.S. will increase a little bit every turn, and you'll receive an extra two million per turn in export revenue. A fucking course, plastics. All right, so thankfully there is someone who will accept both of my goods. Boethia is going to be my permanent friend forever. Okay. Thank you for taking my call. 
Steve, you can't trigger anyone here. Oil isn't worthless. <laughs> We're before oil became worthless, Steve. <laughs> there you go. I'm willing- there we go, there we go. I'll actually say that your sentence is technically correct, but we're also in the moment before oil becomes worthless. Good work, Steve. And don't try any of your socioeconomic arguments here. You're wrong and accept it. Anyway, I could hold on to the oil for uh, building a, uh, a pipeline, uh, but I need to have my foreign minister support high enough for that to really work. Why didn't I- god damn it. Well, it's not like I had anything else to do with my turn units anyway. Are you taking into Let's just make sure I get these deals done. Are you in taking into a Good deals. Thank you. So yes, we've uh... No one has goats, so we can't host the fast food. Elias. It'll be fine. <laughs> right, so anyway, I meant to re like finish like finish reconstruction here. Where we're going to imprison the monarchists. Yay, I have access to new infrastructure options. But no, the turn ended before I can activate any of them because that's what the game does. You finish reconstruction, lose a turn unit. And then if you don't do anything in that screen that pops up, you lose another turn unit. And because I was a little bit inefficient, I couldn't start building anything. Um, I can afford to uh, lose a little bit of relationship with the United States uh, because of the fact that I have oil. But don't worry, we'll be pissing them off later on in the game when we get nukes, but uh, we're going to condemn this uh, assassination for the moment. Okay. You see, look at everyone's approval ratings. Look at those. He lowered taxes! <laughs> yeah! That's how they get you. Oil prices fall. 20% increase in tax revenue. So I think what I would do with that is I would set up my oil pipelines and then pick that up. So... Um... How much money do I need to unlock this? Too much. Too much. Well, let's get started. We'll need an extra 150. So, like 60 million. Something along that effect. Becoming popular, a book biker. But I know. Now... Now, I could have uh, used those extra neighbor relations before I executed my trade deal there, because that would have been pretty useful. Let's call America. I okay, have spare ambassador. time. Would you be free to meet sometime in the next few weeks? It is always a pleasure, Your Excellency. Because uh, I would be happy to meet with you when an opportunity opens in our busy schedule. Man, her face. <laughs> I'm uh, looking forward to uh, hearing her lines and seeing her expressions when she is confronted by the power of my oil. That's not even sexual. <laughs> it's just fact. Don't think there's anything else I wanted to do this turn. I'm going to keep taxes consistently at 40%. I guess we could go look at the ineptitude of the dam, but we haven't gotten the thing about the environmentalists being upset. They're still working on this. Oh my goodness, 86%. Oh, the dam. Or, damn, all that money we spent on that, I guess we're fucked. Fuck you, liberals. Well, we'll probably end up engaging in it, Bobo. I've gotten the blackmail information on her before. Uh, I wasn't able to uh, trigger it, though, due to Thank nukes. Thank you for seeing me, Ambassador. It is no trouble at all. I mean, all. Yay! Tell me. How are you enjoying our country? I have always been passionate about Basenji and its people. I am very happy to be posted here. Didn't that? Well, for me, it is always a delight. Didn't that sound bite about oil sound different? I don't have my sound up as loud as you guys hear it, 
but it sounded as if it was like recorded in like like a different like room with like an echoey thing. Like the line was like thrown as like an afterthought. That was weird. Don't worry, we'll be hearing more of that again. I, she probably won't help. Yeah, America is gonna still sit this one out. I haven't exactly increased my relations with America. I've decreased them, you know. Well, good. Everyone's still happy. Fantastic. Let's move right along here to, uh, well, hell, we'll actually have enough relations, and we'll probably, yeah, we'll definitely have, uh, approval of really good. Let's get that American Hotel. And I'm actually going to pick the bugged rooms, which increases intelligence collection. I don't know by how much, but I think it'll influence, will help us more than that extra one million per turn. And then, Global Shipping Giant. Finally, I'm gonna open to the policies, and I'm gonna try to be prepared. It's gonna cut into my funding, but damn it, I'm gonna try. <laughs> Revolt being started in chat. <laughs> Riot! Hello, Kay Wolf. Eh. I support this. Sure. Okay. Yeah, great turn. Great turn. I like it. Full of progress. Let's uh let's call America again. Good day. Do I feel like buying anything? Um, just in case the event chain pops up, I will uh, get the protectionist policy on the go. And although this could end up like screwing me if we have an event that ends up drinking some of the money or trying to, I will get a wildlife refuge. Because we have like the diminished approval values right now to actually make good good use out of that. And I said I was gonna call other people. I'm not gonna like like engage them in like discussing the issues. Cause I mean we're gonna be able to rely on Thank you. on glorious intel to tell us what to do. But again I'm just gonna touch base with them. No, Bobo, I'm not going to trigger the counterfeiting tree. Goodbye. Uh, not yet. Uh, once I'm able to protect myself with a nuke, then uh, I will throw America under the bus. Anyway, uh, I will arrest these folks and return them to their home country because Boethia is my primary trading partner. Also, hey there, Zerfal. Uh, thanks for that hot tip. Uh, you provided earlier. Uh, I will definitely keep that in mind. I uh, mean, I... I'm, I'm glad you knew that. It's probably the most useful thing you've ever done for me, Sir Paul. Help me! It's disappointing that you can't maintain control of your own country. Very well. I'll write an editorial in the newspaper in support of your so-called leadership. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have a nice day. I believe that very well. I hope we can. Well, uh, I have kept an eye on those logs, and I just completely missed that. And I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you knew. Okay. So our defense minister has a request for me that I can fulfill. Moving two units to the border of my best, closest, truest friend. We're also going to be getting support here from America. So we'll probably celebrate by raising taxes. You want two units? Okay. Well, I mean, we wouldn't want to overachieve here. Let's just go ahead and move the two units. They'll take two turns to arrive because I don't have the military readiness doctrine. It was two. Yeah, it was two. Okay, good. Yep. 
Well, uh, <laughs> Sir Falls like Sham Wow, so I can like ring him out and then like reuse him. Neat. I like that kind of flexibility in a man. <laughs> Making a good, good loyalty bank already. What a novel concept to be banking loyalty points by turn nine. Amazing. To not have people rioting in the fucking streets. This is incredible. Um, I feel like doing anything else? Question. I mean, kind of like running that death penalty. But then I don't have CCTV cameras. You fucking hobos. I don't really need to crank up, like, Patriot support because they're gonna love me for my choices and actions, so... Yeah... I mean, country's pretty good where it is. I definitely don't need to increase the prosecution budget as useful it is. We got pretty low corruption. We have honest institutions. We'll be fine. Good to check. <laughs> so, beat Steve, how will the people meet their life needs? Yeah, 86% probability of success. That 86% has never failed for me before. That's that's a guarantee right there. It's a guarantee. I'm so happy. We'll get that damn. Hey there, Russian ambassador. You you want to give me money? I love money. America said, but you know, America. What'd you give me? What's in the box? 15 approval with Patriots. Eh. There have been more useful things in the box. Okay, everyone. So let's celebrate again. We got our editorial. We'll lower taxes. Yay! Lower taxes. And uh, we're going to move those units back inland. Oh, right. They're still being moved. Military reign is doctrine. I discussed that. I was just confused because they counted as a mission completion. And I was like, they moved over an Um. Let me think. What do I do? I think. Um. I'm gonna grab the Arms Bazaar. Grab the Military Readiness Doctrine and then the Arms Bazaar, which uh, improves GDP. I'll then start working towards the counter terrorism unit and, uh,. Run an intelligence service headquarters to actually start picking up some intel, because if I'm going to be fighting people, I might, uh, might pick up a bit of intel. We'll see. Hmm. You know... Let's... You can't... You can't kill that many with a grenade, okay? And calm it down. Slow your roll, religious people. Slow it. It'll be fine. Religious people are sad, but everyone else is fucking ecstatic. 40% taxes? That's the best. I love these people. They're great. They are so thrilled to be a part of my glorious nation. And I'm so thrilled to be their public servant. To guide them. To shepherd them. Is there any point to doing anything? How much money do we have in the disaster prepared fund? The answer, of course, is going to be not enough. I'll try to remember to turn that off when I got 200 million in there. I'll feel comfortable then. Um, not really anything I want to do this turn. Thank you. Yeah. There's no need for me to jeopardize relationships with anyone. Just make sure that they all stay pretty strong. Thank you. Well, we are not really hunting it down this time, Fluffy Wuffy. This, uh, achievements are disabled because I'm trying out endless mode. 
Good day and back. It is always. No. No, you don't need them. You don't need them. You'll get over it, military. Alright, speech time. Speech. 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 Gah. I address you today as we are ushering in a new era in the history of our homeland. I wish to address you first, as you are the owners of this blessed land, its defenders, the builders of its prosperity, and the architects of its future. Speech! Our glorious revolution marked the day that we established our independence and our national identity. Basenji will provide new education credits for those youths who take up the cause to serve in our military. Second, we will promote developing and prototyping new technologies, especially those in support of asserting our sovereignty. With a full heart that I say to you all. Well, these viewers, I I've reckoned that they aren't actually Basenji citizens. I figure they're like Europeans or Americans uh, watching, you know, because this because they really care about Basenji. I look to the future with tranquility. People's Republic of Bisenji represents superior military, economic, and above all, moral power. Gonna be a tepid speech. Wasn't a failure, though. No trouble at all. I mean, all. Tell me. I. Well, you are. I. I hope. Good conversation. Glad we had it. That's that's really all. Just wanted to have a conversation with her. Ah, uh, we're getting some some nice loyalty point bank here from our defense minister. We got high public approval, which is getting us more loyalty points. We're getting seven loyalty points per turn. Great. Now, are we going to start spending some of this money? I mean, I reckon. I guess. I kind of don't want to set up too much infrastructure, you know, to bleed my money dry. Then again, I am working on building a dam right now. That is costing me money. That is very important to consider. It's unfortunate to be grabbing this stuff, because I'm actually maxed out at Patriot Approval right now, and so it is wasted. That said, I would like to get started on uh, Intelligence Collection. We just won't grab the uh, the Counterterrorism Unit. I mean, we'll probably grab the Counterterrorism Unit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab it. That's 10 approval that basically just flew to happen. The cost of having a good speech, I guess. They have... Excuse me? Huh. I craned my head. Uh, well, I mean, you can certainly post, like, the, the, the thing, Okay, well, if it's not going to auto-pop up as an image, because uh, you're not a moderator or subscriber, so I don't have a problem with you posting that, if it pertains to Vicenji. Mm. Hundred 
105% approval, though. Sounds like a great excuse to raise the taxes. We'll, uh, we'll put the minimum in intelligence services. Oh, right. Yeah, that is a thing. Ha ha! <laughs> Could you not fart in my room? Especially with your ass pointed towards me? This is why we can't have nice things, dog. Don't you wag your tail. You're fat. <laughs> and no one loves you. We're gonna renege on this prowess instead of losing five billion dollars per turn for the rest of eternity. Okay. Air conditioner is coming on now. We're gonna lower taxes. Sign of solidarity. The Patriots are a little upset over that broken promise and everything, but I'm just gonna have to get over it. Andy. What are you doing? You being bad? You're being bad, aren't you? I'll rub you a little. Aw. Oh, you're a good dog. I know I'm a waffler, in my opinion. You're really a good dog. You know it. Even when I tell you you're bad, you're so well-behaved. Yes. Unlike the actual puppy. He's just biting. He's going through a phase right now. Or so they say. I think he's just bad. Alright, I'm done petting you. That's it. That's all the pets you get. I'm not one of those fucking people who do the videos on the channel who just deal with pets constantly. Our relationship is on pause. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I don't think there's anything I want to buy right now. I'm in a pretty good situation with everything. Uh, I might set up a f religious school soon, though. We'll have that, we'll work towards that goal, maybe. We'll see. I think, uh... I think, uh, I think we're done with this turn. We'll just, we'll just call everyone, though. Just to say hi. We won't talk about anything. We'll just call them. Conditioner is probably going to run a bit harder, or rather a bit longer, because of the fact that my uh, my stairwell door is open to allow the dog unhindered access in and out of here. Foreign hacker? 50 million? You're not bribing me, sir. Oh, no. Oh, my secret political prison. Why? Why could you spoil that? Only the liberals cared. Meh. They'll get over it, probably. And if they don't... I mean... I can't hold their dicks all the time. Speaking of which, they're not gonna like this. As I'm about to, uh... Aggravate them with a minus one liberal approval per turn. Yep, it's happening. So we can set up these fundamentalist approval per turn religious schools. Yeah. Good talk, everyone. Let's promptly end our turn. Woohoo! Counter-terrorism unit! I don't really think I've tried negotiating the release of the hostages before. And I'm still not. Counter-terrorism unit, that's what I have you for. And once again, you underperformed and disappointed. What a surprise. What's up? Well, that's gonna be a request that isn't fulfilled. We're, uh, we're not doing war right now, lady. Uh, El Amin. So, uh, prepare to be disappointed. I bet you like disappointment, don't you? Yes, you do. Yes, you fucking do. I gotta welcome to disappointment, and I mean, you know... Might as well pick up that capitalist approval. Not as if the Karifi people really matter. I mean, there's no story events, so 
I don't know what the hell the Karifi people are gonna do against me, right? It sounds like a personal problem. Alright, I've got 33 loyalty points. That's good. My minister is gonna be sad, and that isn't as good, but, uh, tough titty. Moving right along here. Maturism money. Maturism money. My fundamentalist approval. My tourism money. You can't be taking my tourism money. Not even more of it. I mean, this game also just fucking, like, needle dicks its way through your tourism money. So eventually it's, why even the fuck have tourism, right? Oh, bad event, no tourism money. Oh, bad event, no tourism money. Oh, bad event, no tourism money. Fuck you. I'll spend the $30 million. The fundamentalists didn't even care. I love it. It's great. War is broken out between Sania and Tajikistan. Okay. Good thing I'm not trading with either of them. Everyone is happy. I love happy people. Give them Soma and they will not complain. That's good. How much money am I theoretically making off of tourism right now? Thirteen million dollars. That's with open borders with everyone. That's, uh, that's serious business. Shekel right there. Damn it. Can't be losing that. Yep, another great turn. Hey, America. Good day. What's up? Come and say hello. Uh, the dam event is going to finish in a few turns. Success or failure? 81% probability success. Okay, so it's not the magic 86% that's guaranteed success, right, Lethal? 81%. It's gotta be iffy. Hey, I don't know. Let's go ahead and move our units off the border of Tajikistan. I mean, Boethia. We're not gonna move them towards Tajikistan, though. Because her defense minister is made out of dumb. That's right, she's made out of dumb. That's it. I don't see why I should care. The youthful rebellion is safe and harmless. <laughs> I know, lethal. It's tragic. <laughs> Thank you for seeing me, Ambassador. Right into the night. Just so small talk. I have always you are we probably have too poor relations right now to get some of these good things. Tell me about it. It's not good. Tell me we are not a charity. Your Excellency. You will regret that in thirty turns. Probably a bit longer than that. It's gonna be a while before I get the nuke set up. Okay, my deals have expired with oil and plastics. What are their current values? Oil, plastics, good enough. Let's call my bestest friends in the whole wide universe. Thank you for taking my call. I know the uh the, uh, the dark-skinned ambassador, I like his, This is no true world oil. I mean all. The swarthy ambassador. I like that. I like that terminology better. I'll use that. How do you think? Take my plastics. And, uh, take my oil. Are you thinking it? As our foreign, foreign minister still ain't good enough with us. To uh, be establishing the oil pipeline. Yeah, 64% ain't good enough for that. Alas, you know, if I had a request to schedule a meeting with the President of the United States this game, that wouldn't be so bad. Instead of during the games when I couldn't. Wouldn't be so bad at all. Again, there's no pressure for me to build anything. Because I'm keeping everything stable in my country. I mean, I could grab the Chastity Council, I guess. <laughs> I mean... I would to say you fucking fundamentalists just need to get over it. Like, we do a lot for you in this country. 
they like they stare at like the legalized gambling. We do a lot. Okay, there's a rising unemployment rate. That's terrible. Our taxes have been so high. We just haven't been able to cope with that rising unemployment rate. That's awful. That means we've got lowered support from people. Eventually, I'm just gonna have to deal with that super unemployment. Now, whenever I threw the liberals under the bus, we never had a problem with a rising unemployment rate. Because I, uh, I had said there to be no minimum wage at all. But that's gonna harm our labor relations. Eh, I'm willing to concede that. And we'll bump gambling down a little bit. Alright, good adjustments, everyone. Let's move on. Excellency! Good, 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 good. We're not sharing these things with the world. Although there isn't that much money in this, contrary to what those pluses tell you. I've been fairly disappointed by this before. So, I don't really think I've shared my discoveries with the world before. We'll share them with the world. Great guy. Uh, what the hell happened there? Oh. Okay, so Sonia's relations lowered there, I believe, because they're at war with Tajikistan. And so when my relationship increased with Tajikistan, Sonia's like, wait a fucking minute. You're letting Tajikistani environmentalists and scientists come and explore this wreck too? Fuck you, buddy. You're not, they're not allowed over here. Sons of bitches. <laughs> Alright, what really matters is that we got the dam. I care more about that than anything else. Fucking just trying to share my things with the world like a nice, friendly person. I've, uh, let's uh, just try and pursue those peace talks and be a friendly guy. We got our dam. Like I said, that's what really matters. Next thing up... We're getting the Great Firewall. Yep. 100% chance of success, because... Yeah, I, I'm willing to spend that money. I'm willing to spend the damn money and a bit extra. I can afford it. Right, great approval with everyone else. Good, good. Um, yeah, this country's great. Defense minister is all sad-faced. Because I rejected her. I shunned her. And now she has forsaken me. We're going to vote in favor of the resolution. Nuts to you, Russia. I haven't forgotten how you ditched me. But once again, I still feel compelled to do nothing. Good turn, everyone. <laughs> Oh, well, that's been fixed, Larian. At least according to what a few updates ago said. So, I'll be building that too, and I'll see whether it's fixed. Three million dollars per turn for the rest of the game. Not gonna be able to do it. Only the Patriots cared. Working conditions of Basenji are very poor. Ah, <sighs> you don't say. That's gonna get even darker. What I care about, man, are the jobs. That's what I care about. The jobs. I think I'll have to lower up taxes and wait for jobs to go green again. Uh, before I can raise taxes. Because uh, I think with that way I have my settings right now, they would just like hold like stable. So I won't have to worry about them slipping into the red. Which is nice. Yeah, I'm going to keep things the way they are, I think. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Yeah, we keep things the way they are. Don't see any real need to wreck the boat. Request status report. 101% probability of success. Beautiful. I love it. We'll shut the bastards down. Once we get the Great Firewall, who gives a fuck about their opinions, right? <laughs> Lowering taxes. I know, what kind of grave, horrid bull system is this where you lower taxes. These are dark times. Thank you for taking... 
variant, I don't know. Goodbye. I appreciate you trying, though. Western imperialism! We are very worried about Western imperialism. Yes, we should continue to That's right. Damn right. Good talk, good talk. Let's end the turn. Yes, I will give aid to Boethia. Because they are my greatest friend. And I will continue to keep them as my super greatest friend. And America is fucking gonna throw a cup. And then they're gonna realize I have oil. And they'll be like, right! He's got oil. Oh hey, my foreign minister likes me. Yay! Well, um, with that in mind, I'm gonna sell weapons to my dear friend here. Oh wait, are they, they're at war with someone now? Hmm, a little bit of tension. Okay, we're not gonna sell weapons, but when our oil does come back, we're gonna build oil pipelines with everyone. Uh, we're not gonna build an oil pipeline with Virginia, so we're gonna build an oil pipeline with our good friend Boethia. And then I'm gonna pick that thing that lowers uh, oil prices but increases my tax revenue. And I'm gonna swim in money. That's gonna be glorious. I won't give in. I won't give in till I'm victorious. Well, uh, I'll build that. Uh, those was right, police folks, you know, just in case something bad happens. And see, this is how I've stabilized the country. Everyone loves me. Wasn't a big deal. Man, it was really hard. Jeez. How did I do that? Prominent cleric. Very well, let the censorship begin. They'll get over it, particularly the capitalists. Not so much the fundamentalists, but, you know. That's right, in printing. You can't forget that. That's $40 million. Well, 103% probability success. That's really... It's really $25 million per turn. Because you have to factor in the per turn costs. So there's that to keep in mind. So it's not a full $40 million per turn. But it still is a nice bank. It is a nice bank indeed. Uh, I'll be getting it once I build a nuke. And I'll build a nuke once I get everything useful that I can out of America. We'll build relationships real up with them, and then we'll send them crashing down. And it'll be fun. Guaranteed or your money back. I mean, I guess I could build this now, actually. Well, no, I need the cartel first. Hmm. Cartel gives me a big bump. Okay, so I would get the cartel next, and then, after like another round of trade deals, like after I cash in on the cartel, I'll build the offshore mega rig. Okay, good talk. Glad we had the discussion. Very valuable and important. That's all I feel like doing. No, no, you can go to hell, you in. I ain't sanctioning my trade partner. How about you go fuck yourself? They're my friend. Maybe you should learn how to understand the concept of my friend. I guess I don't really need to worry about labor rights or job score, because everything's fine just fine. Everything's holding stable, including liberal support. Fuck, man. Ah. Shit, I'm great at this game. <laughs> Thank don't worry, they can't make me give you up. I don't think the UN's necessary, and I'm not going to tell Boethia that, even if they might like the UN. We'll call everyone, though. Don't we'll pretend to have meaningful conversations, but really... It was just a touch base. Keep it touch, you know. I'll be friendly with them. I don't know what the hell am I gonna do with my bank loyalty points. 
I'll probably end up throwing them at like the various like folks. I fucking I don't fucking know. Hmm. We're gonna seize their finances. Capitalists, I give you enough. Speech! Speech! The Honorable Basenji people, my fellow countrymen and women, my beloved citizens, I address you today as we are ushering in a new era in the history I wish to build. Larian, if I really cared enough about it, I'd just fucking. I'd ask someone who had it. <laughs> I'm not that worried about it. I'm just curious to find the event chain or like. Or you like, ex I'm exploring the game, you know? It's not a, that big of a deal. So, what do you think the capitalists care, care about the most here, from starting off? I mean, certainly it's none of these options. Like, what really caters to the capitalists here? We already did, like, the Glorious Revolution thing. It's certainly not American warmongers. Moral combat they can't care about. This sounds like liberal shit. This sounds like the closest thing that what capitalists would care about. Yes, Larian, people have the secret achievement. That's how I know about it. Jeff has it. What of Jeff? We will subsidize our core exports in order to ensure they remain competitive in the global market. This doesn't tie into food health or schooling very well compared to the public health thing. Nah, that definitely showed. Nah, this speech is gonna fail. Just right on the cusp of being a tepid speech. I tried to angle for capitalist support, and now people are gonna be like, you made a promise during a speech, blah, 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 blah. You are considered a progressive moderate, moderate. That's such great intel, I'm so glad I have it. Totally glad I went trying to fish for capitalist approval there, and we ended up not accomplishing what I wanted at all. Oh well. It's fine. It's one speech out of many I will undoubtedly give during this run. I guess I'll give the Im the imperialist bullshit next time. Okay, Larian. Like, he played the game rather extensively. Well, fairly extensively, like, and just like showed it off a bit, like in a live broadcast. Uh, we'll just warn the newspaper. No need to be talking out of your ass, Larian. Again, nothing I feel <laughs> it's a types to build at all because my country's stable. So I don't need to do anything. This is what I figured Endless Mode would turn into. Endless Domination, and I'm just sort of like... Kind of looking to see what the game's got in store. Eventually I'm going to build up a military and start picking on people who aren't my bestest friends in the whole wide world. Like, we're going we're gonna to provoke the game and hit it with a stick and see what falls okay. out. We're just not hitting it with a stick right now. people work hard and deserve their current perks. Don't be attacking these ministers. They deserve every little bit. Thank you for seeing me, Ambassador. It is no trouble at all. I mean, all. Tell me. I have... Well, you are... Well... I did hear some gossip from the ambassador of New Zealand the other day. Neat. I, I, Good conversation. Yeah, I mean, we, we don't have Farouk at all. What intel did we get? 
use vast wealth to purchase political prominence in 1994. Wonderful. I'm making so much money. <laughs> making so much money. And I'm not even printing it. <laughs> My country is stable and a 40% tax rate. Yep. Really balance that out. <laughs> How's this coming along? Oh no, it's less than 100% now. Great. Something I can't influence or control at all now that it's active. Sounds like money. Cha-ching. <laughs> Larian, <laughs> that question doesn't make sense to me. Why do you keep confusing me with your questions? Now we're down to 95%. Yay! Really, it's nothing but fucking tedium if the investment fails, because then I'll have to sink more money into it, we'll wait another 15 turns, and it'll just slow down the whole nukes and everything. It will be tragic. Eli's private firearms exchange promised. Nothing matters, says Nihilist Journalist. Slow news season is right. <laughs> well, in Sidigon, I, I hadn't tried endless mode, so I just wanted to try it and see what would happen. And we're seeing. Alright, we got our first terrorist thing. So that happened. Our deals are going to expire. Our export deals in the next few turns. Uh, we'll get the cartel. I'll sell again. And then we'll roll with that mega oil platform. If Emperor Roosty wins, I... How would the Emperor Roosty win? How? I'm the one who unlocked him. I control him, damn it. I made him and I can unmake him. A little over the top? A little over the top. There's, there's nothing for me to do with any of these things. Whenever you select endless mode, that's, that's the difficulty setting, Fluffy. All right, the deals have expired. Cartel time. So oil is at a whopping 30, and plastics is at a whopping 19.6. What's there at the top? Spices. More valuable than my oil. Hmm. How about that? Thank you. The Sinji plastics. Are you taking it? One hundred and two percent of the market rate. Thank you. Are you taking it? Twenty-eight per twenty-eight million per turn. I like it. Big fan. Thank you. I don't know, Fluffy. Don't listen to Insidia. The game does not get harder as the game goes on. All right, now we're making $101 million per turn thanks to our super mega oil platform, and that's while we're supporting the Great Firewall. While we're keeping everyone immensely happy with me. Okay, at 40% tax rate. Yep. Ah, I mean, I could select this, but the tourism money. The tourism money. The capitalists are like, fuck! But the tourism money. It's important, damn it. Oh, new intelligence report about Margaret Hamilton. Yes. Yes. Stationary bike never used. Oh, wait, what? Percent of the Sinji tourism market, 29%. Wow. I like it. A lot of Americans coming here. Got some Trajikistanis. 
We don't know about Boethia, nor do we know about Sadia. We don't know the exact numbers, but we know. So, uh... You got a shit ton of money? <laughs> I ain't even printing any. This is really fucking weird. <laughs> Is this run? <laughs> this run of sweet, delicious fucking gold. Uh, you know what? <laughs> we might as well just run that at max. I can't. Uh, there's no high score in this game, so. <laughs> might as well. I hope not, Larian. Is there any point in me buying goods? No, I, I don't have an approval problem. <laughs> yeah, everything is great. Move it along. Masunji is that I don't need to raise taxes even higher and make tons of bank per turn. So there's no need for me to try it. Oh, hmm. Hmm. Well, I don't have the death penalty, so that saddens me. But I can take control of the Masunji Gazette from here forth. I've never seen this specific event before. Because I've never, I don't recall just warning them. So that's cool. I think we'll just could take control of the newspaper. Ah, newspapers are. Oh, Excellency, do you have a moment? Yes. What oh, is epidemic it? crisis. Are dealing with cases okay. Of highly contagious new flu virus. All right. M two H one. Challenge. It kills one in four infected patients, and three hundred and forty-one deaths and almost a thousand new infections have been reported to date. The WHO is declaring the disease an epidemic with potential global repercussions. The transitional government must take first action to control panic, safeguard the economy, and adopt proactive policies to prevent the further spread of this disease. Where do we start? We need to stop migration to and from Bajinji. Shut down the borders at any cost. That will be devastating to our economy. We will need to ensure we have state-of-the-art research facilities available at our university and hire the best doctors from overseas. That will be costly. And most importantly, we need to ensure the WHO gives us the resources we need to contain the outbreak. That means maintaining a good yes, relationship with Yes, I've definitely seen this UN. before. Anything else? Luck, Your Excellency. We will need some good luck. Okay, so we didn't actually have a warning. This thing just fucking pounced on us. So, as a reminder, epidemic crisis. We uh, will need to, uh, if we want to make sure we have everything here and I and I've done this without having everything uh, you'll want the university uh, you'll want the you'll want dr. house you'll want a UN approval rating and uh, you'll want to close all borders for five turns I guess I'll do all of this all right it's really gonna cut into my tourism money but it's really gonna cut into my long-term money too because you can't Unpurchase anything in this game. So once I hire Dr. House, Dr. House is with us for the rest of time, unless an, an asteroid takes him out. <laughs> and then we can blame the Klondafu bug menace for killing Gregory House. Now, I've never just outright failed the epidemic crisis because I've never bothered to try to fail, like how I tried to fail the financial crisis. I just don't feel like exploring it right now because I don't feel like seeing the repercussions. I'm looking to explore the length of endless mode here. I can do that during some other run. So let's go ahead and pick up these things. Let's get a university. That's going to cost me five million per turn. Let's get a hospital that'll cost me five million per turn. 
Let's get a cantankerous genius doctor from America. This doctor is not only the world's foremost expert in diagnostic medicine, but your best hope in finding a cure for any potential deadly outbreaks. But can you stand his bedside manner? Okay. Well, that was very rough on the economy. I'm losing a whopping $15 million because of this bullshit now. And let's close borders. <sighs> Sorry, everyone. We have this whole thing happening here right now. It's terrible. Also, we might as well peace talks with everyone. Yay, peace. <sighs> America, help me. Good day, it is Help me with my outbreak. Only you can save me, America. Only you. Okay, disaster relief fund. We had a hundred million in it. I forgot to check how much money was in there, but thankfully, we cleaned up that oil fine, just fine, no problem. There's a train outside. I didn't even notice it approach. Thank you for seeing me, Ambassador. It is no trouble at oil. I mean, all. I was so excited about our chat. Tell me. I have always been well, you Will you invest? Tell me, Ambassador, how can I encourage greater American investment in our economy? Foreign aid? I can make a case to the Secretary of State to invest seventy-five million in the Vicendi economy. It's just taxpayer money after all. <laughs> <laughs> President. Given our long standing friendship, I would love to receive the President of the United States in our glorious country. The president is on Damn the Asian tour at the moment, but we can raise this proposal again in a few months. I'm not gonna do a military alliance yet. How dare you? We'll wait for the we'll wait for the president to become available. What do you want? Three additional units to the border of my best friend, okay? You just wanna keep fucking spooking him, I guess. Let's go spook our best friends. I know. I mean, it's no surprise that the president doesn't want to uh, visit during our fucking our plague. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense, okay? I'm not even mad. I do miss earning money, though. I'm spending so much on maintaining these intelligence services. Also, let me check. How much money do I have in the disaster relief fund? 150 million. Okay. We'll keep investing. Hold on. Yeah, that train is still going. That was a fucking stealth train to begin with, and... <laughs> Gotta make sure they haul that coal, I reckon. Thank you for taking... Anyway. Good chat. Let's go. There's an achievement for uh, getting all of the intel available in the game. Oh, I've done that before. It's not exactly that thrilling. So we lost a minister, but we got the Great Firewall at least. Subversive messages will not reach my population. In part, I think, because I bought the damn newspaper. Well, <clears throat> excuse me, I took control over it. Anyway, the foreign minister is dead. That is very tragic. So the foreign minister had a good relationship with me. Excellency, do you have a moment? What? Yes, what is it? Because of N2H1's spread, the market for Bajinchi's export... Right, but this happened. Collapsed. All our trade agreements have been suspended. Is there anything else we can do? Put an end to this disease, Excellency. It's all the global media is talking about. I didn't say you would stay in my office, asshole. I will miss you, foreign minister. He who allowed me to do the cool foreign minister things. Like, you know, selling arms and oil pipelines. At least there's good relations between these two folks now. I like it. I want to sell weapons. 
Well, this sucks. My money. Like, my oil prices are so trash right now. Oh, man. Oh, fuck, man. What am I gonna do? I like money. 15 tons of approval of the Patriots. It doesn't even matter. What do I care about a professional football team, man? Damn it. Fine. It's gonna go even lower, Party Commissar, because after, after this turn, like, my deals have been canceled. This plague was super in control, damn it. There was no need to suspend, like, it's not like my oil is gonna catch the plague. Fucking game. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and start the space program. It takes 20 turns. But it allows me to take unlimited actions during a turn, and I need to kill time anyway until I get everything out of America before I start the nuclear weapons development. Yeah, I suck losing all this money per turn, but I guess, I guess I'm rich enough. Sigh. Fucking busting my balls here. What did I get? Oh! <laughs> oh! She's stealing money from the U.S. government. Oh! 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 We'll keep that in our pocket, folks. You, uh, want me to do what? Go to hell. <laughs> Oh, more intel. Supportive of secret torture facilities. I like it. I like it. It's good. It's good. Big fan. Big fan of your secret torture facilities. Oh no, we're running out of time. Ah. We'll wait until the epidemic clears, you know? We'll wait for it to clear. Wouldn't want to. Wouldn't want to be rude, you understand? Wouldn't want to pounce that on someone immediately. Oh. No. No, we're continuing the space program. That sounds tragic. Whoopsie doodle. What? Excellency, do you have a moment? Yes, what is it? As M2H1 spreads, riots and looting are rampant in Hamai, Kwafal, and Majimara. Rationing has been implemented for what little goods remain. A strong military presence will be needed to prevent the complete collapse of the transitional government. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, so we're actually losing money per turn now. This is this is the saddest thing ever. We'll cut down on the intelligence. Our approval ratings are all really rough with the people because there's rioting out there in the streets. Our uh, crime rating has gone super high uh, because of the fact that there's rioting out there in the streets, which means I'm, uh, I'm about to bring the prosecution budget down on these kids. Grimma's a little mad. During this hypest, hypest epidemic crisis ever. Mm. No tax cuts, though. Just uh, intelligence budget cuts. So, how's our rocket program coming along? Space project. We have assessed our mission requirements and have started to design a launch vehicle suitable to carry a small payload in the low Earth orbit. We have founded a space administration authority to oversee and fund project bureaucracy. Our physicists are optimistic about the progress made so far. 101% prob- You know what, I would sack that lead project manager. 101 probability of success. You are no longer my lead project manager. Excellency. How's How the military? Is morale within our armed forces? If you don't mind me saying, the troops love you. They will follow your orders faithfully. That's just American propaganda, Larry. Thanks. That's all for now.
no, 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 civilian authority is always ahead of military authority. I've never tried this before, and I ain't doing it right now. We could afford to lose some approval of the military. Okay. You know who we're gonna blame for this plague? I address you today. I wish the bill. The American warmongers realize they cannot invade every country in the world and are thinking twice about crossing the great nation of Basenji. Now, don't fuck me, game, with the dialogue choices. Let's promise education Basenji. credits again. Finally. And then a statue. And then, good speech! Good speech! Yeah! What, Tariq? Excellency, do you have a moment? Yes, what is it? The doctor from America appears to have developed an effective vaccine against M2H1. It will take time to synthesize and distribute, but for now, it appears the immediate crisis is over. The effects of this disaster will linger for decades. Now we must begin to plan the road to recovery. Our healthcare costs will remain high for a while, and our economy will take time to recover. But we can reopen our borders again and renegotiate trade agreements. I am relieved the worst is behind us. As am I, Your Excellency. Especially from this 15 million I'm losing per turn from the shit I can't get rid of. The crime rate is very high. That's not very high. It's only orange. That ain't red. We have our uh, labor rights there being so red. They'll fucking, they'll get over it. You know what, patriots? You're all being pit like hissy fitting and bullshit and fuck you. Be happy. Bam. You fucking love me again. That's what I fucking thought, patriot scum. Ugh. I miss my money. I can't even negotiate the oil pipeline. <sighs> Why? Come here, bestie. Thank you. I'm taking. I'm taking. He paid me 113% of the market value. He's a good friend. He's a good friend. How bad is the healthcare costs? Yeah, it's not bad. I guess. How much approve of all these expenses I'm having to pay for, though? You fucking people need to get over it. Stop being criminals. You're bad. I'm trying to make a profit here. I know, we could f just fucking kill Dr. House. <laughs> oh, 102% probability of success. Oh, shit. Uh... Alright, I forgot to call Friend America. I remember now. Oh, Friend America. Good day, Ambassador. Would you be free to meet sometime in the next few weeks? It is always a pleasure, Your Excellency. Good, I would be good. happy to meet with you when an opportunity opens in our busy schedules. Good. Good, good, good. Have you guys got over this whole crime thing? I mean, it's dangerous at night. <laughs> Alright, sure. Whatever. Tell you what, I'm feeling like the good guy here. I'm your friend. So, I guess, wow. We executed those deals and we're really not making anything from trade, huh? Yeah, our economy's fucking frozen and just paying for shit. Other 35 million. Alright. Let's... Let's have this dream where I only taxed you guys, like... 
one percent. Yes. It was a glorious dream. It was a fever moment. Nope. We're not gonna have a problem with GDP, that's for sure. Because I'm more important than you, that's why. I have so much money. Thank you for seeing me, Ambassador. It is no trouble at all. I mean, all. So. Tell me, how are you enjoying our country? I have always. Well, you are. So, Ambassador. I will be blunt. I know you have been stealing from your embassy. If you want to keep your job, we expect you will portray our country favorably to your Secretary of State. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> All right. I don't even feel like engaging in all these options. I believe that is all I have to say for the moment. Very well. Thank you for your hospitality. I hope we can chat again soon. She'll come crawling back. I mean, I probably could have asked for all the other things, but I like this roleplay moment we're having here, that I'm having here. Speaking of which, it's such a perfect day. Ah, we had a great moment. The people were relieved. They had their month of celebration and not having to pay money. But now it's it's time to live in the moment again, kids. Oh, that actually lowered my relations with America, trying to blackmail her in favor and failing. Thank you. It's okay. She'll come crawling back. Apollo. I fucking told me to eat that blackmail. She's like, oh, it's a shame I can't turn her in, though, huh? She's stealing from the U.S. government. Can't I go over her head? Let me go over her head, damn it. I feel cheated. Oh. Great! <laughs> mm, the people are sad again. Okay, okay. Now that the hardship is over, we can go back to 40%. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Zero Fall. She'll just say, no, and that'll be that. Good day, Ambassador. Would you be free to meet sometime in the next few weeks? It is always a pleasure, Your Excellency. I would. Yeah, yeah, I would be happy to. It would be great. Don't worry. She'll get hers, everyone. She'll get hers. I guess we'll increase intelligence spending back up. I should have... I'm inefficiently using my turn units. I don't even give a fuck. What's our disaster relief fund like? That's too much money. I'll just have a limited consideration. I will, Ranger. Don't worry. So that Pan-Asian tour has got to be over by now. Thank you for seeing me, Ambassador. It is no trouble. I wonder if I can more. try blackmailing her again. Oh. Damn. Oh, there's no more pleasantries or small talk either. Given our long-standing, the president. Huh. Given our long-standing, a military partnership. Why that sounds like something that would advance my career. Okay. I, I hope. I'm just gonna keep pestering her then. So I know she's in the office. Good day, Ambassador. It is all. We'll just keep bothering her, I think. Oh, good. 
I'm glad I know the Prime Minister is allergic to peanuts. That'll totally fucking help me. Great. Useful information. That'll really help me run my country. <laughs> now I'm gonna have to start paying money to upkeep these new units from our military alliance. Oh, we actually got a fighter squadron. No fucking rocket shit. Got some tanks and some fucking planes. I would have preferred the rockets over the, over the planes. Eh, whatever, I have the money, I guess. Status report. Earmarked for feedback from an actual... <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I am the glorious leader. You fucking give me a better report. We're gonna try this again, you sons of bitches. That's it. <laughs> I'm ending my turn. Hmm. Hmm. I don't need the approval ratings. Give me the money. America. 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 That's right, Fluffy Wolfie. I mean. I know, 102% that I fired him. Given our lo the president. Look. Look, he was on a Pan-Asian tour during the plague. We're now after after the plague. Fucking work with me here, lady. That's it. I'm calling you again. Don't think you've escaped from me. Her Her Damn, she got out of the room before I could reach the phone. Good day, I wonder if we can find another memory leak. Me sometime in the next few weeks. It is always a pleasure, Your Excellency. I would be happy to meet with you when an opportunity opens. I think you're seeing things, aren't you? Alright. Useful. Useful. <laughs> oh, glad we sacked that, uh, that asshole. <laughs> it's a shame we haven't replaced him, though. <laughs> Let's call our besties. Thank you. Besties called. Sorry about your allergy to peanuts, bruh. You like me yet? No, of course not. Terrible floods. Insania. Ah, eh, we'll sort of help you, I guess. Tajikistan is like, how dare you help them? Fucking natural disaster. It was the wrath of God that descended upon them, you sons of bitches. Thank you for seeing. It is given our. I will happily convey your interest to the Secretary of State. If the president does visit, it will only mean great things for my career. Of course, I never got a trigger from the foreign minister to ask for the president of the United States to come. Don't worry, I'll pick up that special offer to later. Intel. What's in the box? Oh, useful knowledge. Resource demand. Computer chips. Spent billions to date on military modernization. Of course, the United States craves oil. I'm just gonna keep collecting this intel. We're on turn 42. It's the hypest turn. There are no turns hyper than this turn. Still waiting for feedback. Good game, everyone. Best century session all day. Yay! Make preparations. Damn. This is amazing. Our labor rights are in the tre in the fucking the junk pile. Our crime is still rough, despite, you know, me having model courts now, in addition to the police state have already been running, it's the gambling, I'm sure. 
and everyone is still loves my country. Despite me not doing a whole lot in regards to buying things, I'm still annoyed at losing this 15 million per turn. Who would happily revoke that? Tragic. I'll just keep clicking through turns. I presume. Well, rather, I'd like to think that other crises will pop up that I'll have to deal with, like another a financial one, too. It'll be tragic. How's this looking? Alright, we're still waiting. Excellent news! We won't even execute our accountants. U-S-A! 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 That's a face everyone can trust. You <laughs> know, get him! I, uh, what do you mean? The f I requested that he come, and he came. Larian, come on. <laughs> what do you mean, how? Oh, what new intel did I get on the ambassador? All right, good. I know about her degrees. Useful. Good day, ambassador. Would you be free to meet sometime in the next few weeks? It is always a pleasure, your excellency. I would be happy to meet with you when an opportunity opens in our busy schedule. He oversees the military, Fluffy. The military I make considerable use out of, I have, you know. <laughs> Overall popularity is 100%. Everyone loves me. I wonder what would happen if I let everything tank. It's not like there could be a coup d'etat. Huh. What, is like fucking Farouk gonna come out of nowhere? Like... RKO out of nowhere, Farouk just fucking like runs out from like the fucking like door frame. RKO's me over my desk. Fucking raises his arms in triumph. And <laughs> two hundred billion dollars found under a mattress. Oh shit. ICBM. Ah, oh, good times, good times. Thank you. Uh, you're dumb. <laughs> I know, and City, so I'm like, oh, that's it, right, right, yes, right, of course. Thank you for seeing me, Ambassador. It is no trouble at all. I mean, all. Give me the operative. Ambassador. I don't know what you are implying. Man, you have just I been <laughs> a real pain in my ass, lady. It's probably because she fucking remembers all the times she's been ambassador and I've had nukes. She's fucking... No selling me at every turn. Christ. When's this space program coming along? I don't know. It's supposed to finish sooner rather than later, but who can fucking tell? Children must be vaccinated by law. Because I'm no longer getting any updates. Fucking beats me. I know, where's the crosshairs, right? Watch, I'm no longer able to build special projects. It's now just glitched out. I'm just like staring at the game in disappointment. Gambling is legal, huh? Yeah, I was ensure that casino profits are reinvested into our economy. The Senji has successfully launched a field mouse into space and returned her safely. You are no longer limited by the number of actions you take in a turn. Phew! 
Thank goodness. Now I can take as many actions as I want per turn. Instead of the four actions per turn limit. Because that was really holding us back, guys. Damn. Hmm. So, we gotta get the clandestine facility before we do anything else. And believe me, we're getting the clandestine facility. Because it's that time. A remote site known only by a small number of individuals where the most secretive activities are conducted. Building this site will allow for additional special projects to be undertaken from the situation room. This lowers my loyalty a little bit. That's okay. Now we have nuclear weapons development. Once we are in position of nuclear weapons, our rivals will think twice about attacking. Under this program, Basenji scientists and engineers will build several secret nuclear enrichment facilities to produce fissile material for use in a nuclear weapon. If we are discovered by inspectors, however, we risk becoming an international pariah and could even be invaded by our enemies. Alternatively, brainwashed assassin. Our scientists will experiment with hypnotic suggestion and deep brain stimulation to convert an innocent civilian into an untraceable, guiltless assassin. When complete, you can violently eliminate the leader of a neighboring country and potentially plunge it into civil war. Or, presidential time machine. Life has no undo button until now. If this program is successful, we will build a machine capable of sending one supreme dictator back in time to make different choices and prevent a potential catastrophe from occurring to Basenji. So, we're going to invoke some democracy here. Presuming my poll function will operate. Nuclear weapons development. Brainwashed assassin. There you go. Presuming that ended up appearing. And I will go check my hitbox account to see whether that actually appeared. And or whether the dashboard is just a fucking lion sack of shit. Oh no, it's not a lion sack of shit. How about that? Count it to see. Okay! I will now display this option to folks watching at home. Go ahead and uh, do that. And now, use this amazing shit. <laughs> this is incredible, Zerfa. <laughs> Real time cropping. I'm gonna go get something to drink. I'll be right back. Uh, we'll just wait. See you then. Andy? Hi. Who's a good dog? That's you? Yeah. You've been laying up here and enjoying everything. We're all alone, just the two of us, and all the people watching and even listening to me talking to you right now, because I unmuted my microphone just so they could hear me talking. But they can never see you. No, they can't.
Don't worry, folks. Just grabbing a drink. I'll be back. As if you were fucking worried, right? Oh, he's not coming back. We're fucked. Anarchy. We're doomed. Don't worry, I'm still getting a drink. What the fuck is this poll? <laughs> Democracy has apparently chosen for us to grab the brainwashed assassin. <laughs> yes, we can grab one for America. But why not try for two? <laughs> so then we kill both of our targets that we try fighting and just stare at our one great friend and be like, See? Now no one has to fight. Let me take a look at what I missed here. What the fuck, Zerfall? <laughs> like an absolute trash? This is important, I know. 
This is this is part of what I missed here. <laughs> All these sound too good. Can you choose any faction to send the assassin after? Yeah, you can. Uh, you can uh, try killing the leader of any of the three neighboring countries. Uh, you can't send it out of the ambassador. Mm -hmm. Yes, the assassin definitely did win that. Mm -hmm. Nukes are so last year. Yes, I teased. Big into VODs. Puppy has been shown there. The puppy is drinking Grimmit. Okay. Uh, Zerf always showing off uh, a dog picture. Mostly chant vote. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that was good. Good times. Huh? and open this. Delicious. Okay. Brainwashed assassin. It is. This is the high quality professionalism available to you on any broadcast I do. Ever. It's been so fun. Oh, hey. Brainwash Assassin, 10 turns, we'll spend the max. Great. Uh, nothing else I really need to do this turn. We good. Thank you for taking my call. What am I drinking? Oh, it's... I haven't had IBC Black Cherry Root Beer in uh, several months. Figured I'd have some of that because... That's what I need to be hyper during this broadcast. And as I'm sure you folks noticed, despite starting a secret project and calling someone, I'm not burning through any of my pie down there. It's a perpetual pie. It's great. The pie is perpetual. Everyone can be called. Everyone's a winner. Go, go, go. You know what? This person has both of my goods. So, uh, I might get rid of Trajikistan. He's been an asshole to you before in past broadcasts, so... Yeah, I might get rid of him. We'll see. Popular cleric blaming everyone other than himself for the faults of life. Because, of course, that's, that's what they do. The old ways are not best. Hmm. Criticism of the government's unacceptable. Have him imprisoned. You can go to hell. The honorable Basenji people, my fellow countrymen and women, my beloved citizens, I address you today as we are ushering in a new era in the history of our homeland. Yep. I wish to homeland you history. First, as you are the owners of this blessed land, its defenders. Blessed land. Yeah. Of prosperity and the architects of its future. Well, you know... In this era of instant gratification, I grow concerned that we are losing our spiritual and moral compass. The Senji will increase our commitment towards preserving the sanctity of our sacred spaces. Second, effective immediately, it will be forbidden to vend foods that were not prepared in accordance to our most valued traditions. That's right. Valued traditions. Gotta vend that Finally, shit. It is with a full heart that I say to you all. I look to the future with tranquility. The People's Republic of Bisenji represents superior military, economic, and above all, moral power. 
you all will kowtow in genuflect before me. All right. <laughs> kind of, kind of, not so much. But the fundamentalists love that, and that's what I cater that speaks towards. Good. No, oh, my deal's expired. No, my deal's has highly developed intelligence infrastructure. Great, his military size is superior. Oh man, we know the size of his military. That's kind of weird. Thank hey, have my stall. No plastics. Oh, six million. Oh God, why? What's my foreign minister's approval at? Shit. 65. Is that good enough? It is. Yay! Okay. Is it still worth it to... I think it's still worth it to fucking sell the oil. Rather than just build an oil pipeline. I really do. I mean... I could build an oil pipeline between myself and Tragikistan, and that would have some value, but I kind of plan on killing them, you know? Let's broker some peace anyway, because we're good friends. We'll sell weapons to Boethia. And then we'll call them again, and we'll sell the oil. Despite its devalued status. Because 17 million is still more valuable than 5 million. And you can't both sell the oil and establish the oil pipeline. That's against the rules. We can do it because they have oil. That's not against the rules. That's within the rules. Okay. Um. How's our brainwashed assassin coming along? Black box. Okay, good. Yes. Deep brain scanning, use of psychotropic drugs. We'll show them a bunch of Bible black uh, stuff. And uh, they'll be good. And they will join the elite liberal cause. <sighs> We're gonna have him released from prison. Fundamentalists had never heard about it. Sonia and Tajikistan war again. Ah, why? Why do you guys have to have the war? It's, it's bad for you. It's not healthy. War is unhealthy. You heard it here. The defense minister loves me with 101% approval. Good. Good. As she should, damn it. Her overall popularity is at 100% because of course it is. I kind of forgot what I was going to do, whether there was anything else. Um, newspaper. Rally against apathy draws a surprisingly small crowd. Hmm, how about that? Fucking surprise. Disaster relief fund. Yes, it's still at one million now. Good. Everyone loves me, because of course they do. Because well, how couldn't they? I control the media. Ah. Uh, let the free market decide. That's, uh, that's what Bobo and JG like to say during Diablo 2. Let the market decide. Isn't that right, Bobo? Crime is fixed. Labor rights are trash, but the liberals still love me anyway, despite trash. Good. Good. I, I paid a lot of money for all that bullshit that they're enjoying, so... They better fucking love it. They better appreciate it. And all the hard work I've done for them. You know, Bobo, it's a very challenging game. Also, we had a democratic vote, and the people selected that we uh, get a brainwashed assassin. Because, of course. You know, I'm gonna resolve the war. I like to fix war. Why don't we, uh... Go ahead and call up America here. Good day, whose approval is not maxed with me, but see, I'll see about acquiring their operative agent. Individual. We'll spare no expense. 
We'll spend 10 million, I guess. What's up, lady? Thank you for seeing me. I mean, ambassador, excuse me. No trouble at all. I mean, all. Ambassador, I need not tell you that there are enemies to both of our countries that need to be eliminated. We need one of your special operatives. I understand what you are saying. I will speak to our intelligence agencies about a joint operation. Hmm. I believe that is all I have to say for the moment. Very well. Thank you for your hospitality. Yes, yes, yes. We can chat again soon. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Let's use the hockey. Da -da -da. Yes, it says loaned you the use of a trained assassin. I said that the ambassador couldn't be assassinated? Huh. Alright, we'll do that with our own operative, because it would just be too fucking weird. Ordering this assassination is anticipated to plunge Tajikistan into a civil war. All this occurs, relations will be left neutral, and our trade agreements will be cancelled without penalty. Tajikistan will present an elevated border security threat to Basenji, and tourism to and from the state will drop severely. They will, however, be far less likely to directly attack us or be able to defend an attack by us. Actually... Oh, oh it doesn't even give me... I can't import it! <laughs> Settled. I can't afford it. <laughs> I wanted to see like like the consequences of my choice. Well, <laughs> you know, I'm sending the American like special agent after her. What I like to imagine here is that I told this trained assassin like, and I showed him the proof about her stealing from the U.S. government. You know, if this resulted in me fucking losing the game, I wouldn't even be mad. <laughs> like, that's funny. I fucking saw something new. <laughs> It'd be fucking great. Meanwhile, our guy... He, uh... They're working on him. 102% probability success. Baby steps. You know. mean money <laughs> duh mm. I mean I I got everything useful out of America after requesting that anyway anyway so huh. So there's a war now Western imperialism. We enjoy a positive and productive relationship with both the United States and Europe. Well, <laughs> excuse me, sir. All right, then surely you care about human rights. Oh, wait, I don't give a fuck about your opinion. Because of the reasons. Also, everyone has decided to declare war. Well, not everyone. But my relationship with Sonia is going to lower because of the fact that I'm selling weapons to Boethia. Oh, well. Your own damn fault, I'm sure. Alright, fine. We'll commit the bit bird budget surplus to new schools. Okay, sure. Is it does it still show as me? Oh. Hmm. I think 
think the assassin's dead, everyone. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't get any feedback. Just gone. <sighs> Damn. <laughs> Disappointing. Oh well. I mean, I did get that brainwashed assassin. <clears throat> Excuse me, not pretty much, absolutely trained. From America. So sending him or her after an American target, like the ambassador. <laughs> you know, I get it, right? It's probably not intended for you to really, like, be able to do that. Um. I'm definitely not spending six billion dollars per turn for the rest of this run. Like, we've already encountered our epidemic, and... We'll spend 30 million, but you can go to hell. Speaking of hell. Excellency, do you have a moment? Yes, what is it? You may be aware a white hey! governance in the United States has led to a new global depression. Dependence on the United States as a global consumer has slowed down growth in most of the So I was right about my idea of yes, us seeing Sassy multiple crises during an endless run. We had to endure the epidemic and now we have the financial one on top of that. You must watch the treasury closely and be prepared to protect the country from rising unemployment. That doesn't mean I gave you permission to stand in my office, Tariq. All right, we're gonna have to start saving up money, guys. So let's let's cut the funding to the intelligence service. I mean, have to save up money, guys. How are we coming along with this? 103 percent probability of success. Good, 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 good. Everyone's still at 100 percent approval. Good. Taking her gerbs. Well, you're back. Now nah, she's definitely still alive, huh? Hey. Okay, Ambassador. Would you be free to meet sometime in the next few weeks? It is always a pleasure, Your Excellency. I would be happy to meet with you when an opportunity opens in our busy schedule. <laughs> good. Good. <laughs> We'll have to condemn extremism. And yeah. Those borders of Chichikistan. Alright, yes, the financial yes, crisis. A number of major industries have experienced falling sales and are unable to compete with Asian manufacturing. Let me guess. They are asking for government loans to avoid bankruptcy. These industries are too big to fail. They are so interconnected to Bajinshi's economy that their bankruptcy would have dire implications. You must decide which sectors the government can afford yes. to bail out. Of what course. If we they want my money. Rescue these companies. Well, in addition to frustrating... Oh, depression? It's not that big a deal. Come on. I survived fucking having all of them fail. That's right, you leave, Tariq. I have an ambassador to meet. Me, Ambassador. It is no trouble at all. I mean, all. <laughs> I believe that is all I can. I hope. Yeah, we pretty much got everything we could out of America. Okay. That's fine. <sighs> okay, everyone. There's your money. You sons of bitches. I can take it my money. Also, Tajikistan, I'm gonna go ahead and close my borders with you right now. In preparation for uh, <laughs> what I'm about to do to your face. Oh, down to 100% chance of success. Oh man. 
How many loyalty points we got banged? Oh, you know, 518. Excellency, Western Greed! There goes the fucking slider circle jerking between uh, San Andrew's Dan. You have a trained assassin ready for orders, Excellency. The project was a success. Good, good, good. Okay. So then, by the vote uh, that I held, the next thing uh, was, of course, the time machine, followed by the nuclear bomb. So we'll slowly progress along that path. It'll be a while before we get to those nukes, but that's what the people chose. Now, it's going to cost us a lot of money to set up this presidential time machine and uh, 20 turns. But we'll commit. It's guaranteed to succeed. If folks want to see the time machine, and I'm kind of curious to see whether it's actually fucking fixed. So, there's that. Nothing I really want to do. Another train, by the way. Surprise! <laughs> Combo your time machine and assassin to kill everyone once. <laughs> nah, that won't be necessary. Nor am I particularly interested. Alright, Tajikistan. Your time is up. My time is now. This is cutting into my tourism money, of course. The fact that I closed borders with them and now I'm gonna shut down their dude. Wrong book. Sorry. Also, GDP is kind of rough right now because the whole recession thing and all. I'd actually click on this. My tourism money is down to a whopping 10 million per turn. It's tragic. Oh no, our air quality. My tourism revenue. Also, hold on. I'll leave the microphone unmuted for this. has been sufficiently choke slammed. Time to return to our professional broadcast. I didn't say you could come up here. Lay down. Good girl. Anyway, when last we left off, I guess we were ending another turn in turn hype. Mm. Let's get the GDP. My assassin murdered the general, but he was killed trying to escape. Tajikistan is is now in anarchy. President Hamad Saab was murdered by a mentally ill gunman who managed to slip past security and is no longer an intelligence collection priority for Basenji. More information available in executive memos 
35C, 35E, and 7186. Military size unknown, and percent of Basenji tourism market is negative 29%, but he really value, they really value precious metals there. Yes. Yes. As it should be. Good. They've been dealt with. Sonia will be my target when I go to war. Oh, by the way, you guys can enjoy some of this dialogue. The procurement managers are doing a pretty good job, I think. Pretty good job. Also, I, uh... I do think it's time for some war during the middle of this financial crisis, you know. But I'm not gonna spend my actual money. I think four tank brigades will suffice for now. That's probably a little overkill, darling, but uh, we'll have to make do. We don't have the best intel on our target, I'm sure. What do you think, General? Excellent. I am considering deploying our forces into Sania, but other risks. We have insufficient intelligence on the exact number and deployment under Sania military. Without better information, any attack against them will carry a significant risk. Well, you need to fucking get over it. Fucking assholes just requiring lots of fucking intel before they become useful and or relevant. <laughs> Next turn I'll get uh, the cyber uh, thing and uh, then I'll uh, have myself a good vault. Now, drones are really the way to go if you're actually going to spend your money uh, deploying those, but uh, I didn't spend my actual money to recruit those tanks. And I could even sell them, like sell my loyalty point tanks for money. No need, really. Oh, no! No! First all, oh, double big L, oh, no! The people must make their own... Oh, wait. Tax? Here comes the money! Here comes the money! Eradicating poverty. Eradicating poverty and ensuring that prosperity and well being are sustainable are two of the most pressing challenges the world faces today. Yep. <clears throat> All these options suck in relation to that. The I All right, tepid speech. Yay. Yay. Alright, our exports have expired. We're still in a recession, of course. Because, you know. <sighs> Don't worry, we'll one day recover from our financial crisis. Let's go ahead and get our Cyber Warfare Command, which doubles your unit attack strength when invading another country 33% of the time, for 5 million per turn and 50 million initial cost. I love my 33% chances. They're the best. Still fucking paying for Dr. House. Mm -hmm, fucking sure, why not? Still invested 20 million per turn in that shit. Still don't know how strong or weak uh, Sonia's military is, but oh well. 
this is probably good enough for me to win a battle or two. Now, of course, if I had nukes, uh, their attempts to attack me, well, they would attack me even if we are, we are at war. Uh, they would only defend against me. But I don't have a nuke, so... I mean, fucking... Yeah. Also, it does cost loyalty points to proceed during this attack. That's okay. We'll just send the house. Almost the house. 98% chance success. Don't you guys fuck up that time machine. I would be displeased. Anyway, I think that successfully covers our turn. I don't think there's anything else we really need to do. Well, we do need to sell our goods. Thank you. I think it it's a little bit harder for me to think straight right now with all the fucking sugar running through my head. And my blood. I think I'm rocking back and forth with my chair because I'm fucking bundle of energy now and it's harder for me to think of the words. Okay, let's go ahead and end turn. English be taught in this... Sure, why not? Ta -da! We lost one unit in the battle, but our soldiers are looting the towns. Arr! Do we know how strong they are now after raiding them? Not a chance. What did we lose? That took a bit to update. We lost a tank. No, we lost an infantry unit. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure. How do the troops feel about me? How is morale within our armed forces? If you don't mind me saying. The troops love you. They're damn right they do. Hey. That's all. That's all we needed to discuss. Good chat. Good talk. Good talk. I think that's all we needed to do. Enter. Oh, Earthquake. Have money. You're welcome. We lost another unit. What's up? This war benefits nobody. We propose an armistice to end the pointless bloodshed. Nah. There will be no peace today. I regret calling. We will put an end to your regime. Oh, you will, will you? Looking forward to it. Do we know how strong Sonia is yet? I am considering deploying our forces into Salia. Salia. other risks. We have insufficient... Okay, fine. Fucking... My intelligence agency and my military are both conspiring against me to be fucking useless. Alright, fine. Because 20 million per turn ain't good enough for you. Sure, why not? Let's just go ahead and end my turn. Oh, before I do. You guys made any more progress? No, still the same text. Got it. Sure, I love money. They attacked me, and I lost a unit because uh, they, you know. But I successfully fitted them off. Still, I did lose a unit, and that's tragic. I mean, I guess we have to replace that unit, guys. Let's go ahead and use some of my vast sum of banked loyalty points. It's awfully rude. <laughs> Medals awarded. Yes. I like how the United States likes this. Ah, oh, sure! Alright. All the repayments we got. Ta da! We lost another unit. God damn it, you military bastards. Be more responsible in my unit. I'm burning through my loyalty points here.
I lost the fighter plane. Rude, they shot down my plane. Tragic. Sure. Come into my territory, Agent Snowflake. What? Excellency, the yes, yes. We lost another unit. What's up? It was this Kate Wolf. War benefits nobody. We propose an armistice to end the pointless bloodshed. Nah. There will be no peace today. I regret calling. We will put an end to your regime. Looking forward to it. You know, I've talked about before how the fact that I've never just, like, stayed at war before. Forever and ever and ever. And I'm kind of interested to see where it goes if I just stay at war forever and ever and ever. We'll spend the last... the last point. We'll have four left. Have even more tanks to play around with. Send them to the front. I mean, yeah, I mean, I've totally fucking, like, fought before, and I've talked about this before, a bug I had where it might very well have been Sonny I was at war with, I can't fucking remember, where, uh, they offered to pay for, like, one building, and they ended up paying for all of my damn buildings. Apparently that bug no longer exists in the game. It was patched out, but, uh, just thought I'd note that one. I have done this before, just not overly much on camera. Oh. Oh. A documentary called Primer. <laughs> we sent a small cat back in time 15 seconds. Either that or we vaporized it. Neat. I'm glad. Good work, guys. Do we... Are we not gonna get any more intel? Are we all intel out? We got Agent Snowflake and everything. Jesus. Come on, guys. Are we done on the intel front? Is that it? Are we all tapped out? Like, ah! I mean, I could apply myself more, but <laughs> effort, you know? This, uh... Wow, both of these things... Promote our country to the world. Lose tourism. <laughs> well, fuck you, world! Tourism revenue declines because you promoted your country. Slowly losing units in the battle. <laughs> That's all I really need to do. No roost, he's not as much fun. <laughs> the fucking chicken is stand is completely fucking irrelevant. They're just a nation like any other. Except because I can fucking speak to them. We can actually interact with them. Instead of them just being completely fucking ignored because you can't speak to them. Entirely irrelevant. <sighs> it'll work. One day it'll work. Oh good. More intel. Three units? Oh, good. We got more intel. Oh, he's privately accepting a same-sex marriage. He's 50% of our tourism market. We still don't know about his military. Okay. All right. We need to get the presidential guard first, which costs us some money and some loyalty points. So it's costing us even more money to maintain all this shit. But here we are. I have plenty of money.
my poor tanks. I will miss them. That's right, Bobo. We know about his secret philosophical beliefs. Yeah, God forbid the intelligence agency actually use their fucking enigma machines to tell me something I care about. Excellent. What do you think, General? I'm but the we have... Of course. Okay. You assholes. Bye. Have your fucking money. Figure it out. Good lord. Quit fucking discovering useless shit. We're at war here, damn it. Hmm. Oh. How thoughtful. Thanks, Sonia. I appreciate you not bombing my ship. That's awfully thoughtful of you. We would have needed an unassigned fighter squadron for that. Speaking of... This war benefits nobody. We propose an armistice to end the pointless bloodshed. Nah. There will be no peace today. I regret calling. We will put an end to your regime. Looking forward to it. I think this is as many fucking military medals as we can have, but I've, again, I've not stayed at war for this fucking long before. Instead of just asking him to pay for it. Oh, hmm. I wonder if I bought so many military units that the game is having trouble, like, processing it all. Okay, those two drones just stacked on top of each other. That's cheating, game. Cheating. Dur -dur -dur -dur. Good talk. <laughs> sure! Yeah, why not? Farouk ain't here. Ta -da! We lost another two units because of course we did. Thank you. A pop good. Just keep bleeding units because it's not like we understand what their military strength is. Because, you know, that would be terrible. Indeed, this war does benefit nobody. Except for demonstrating why I haven't done more of this in these games. I'm not gonna buy more drones. We're just gonna roll with that number. We're down to one tank. This is tragic. You guys can go to hell. Ta da! Another two units lost. I want to know exactly who the fuck is killing our units. After all the consistent attacks we've we've dealt. Who's defeating us? Hmm. <laughs> Are we racking up any more medals? Okay, we are getting more medals. Neat. <laughs> oh, cruise ship. Rip tourism. What? The, excuse me? <laughs> All right. This war benefits nobody. We propose an armistice to end the pointless... I just bloodshed. noticed the text there says, We propose an armistice to, to end the bloodshed. You know, really, there will be no peace. There will be no peace today. I regret calling. We will put an end to your regime. 
We'll see whether they try attacking us anymore. So, you want me to improve relations with them, huh? Well, I guess it's time for me to explore what happens if I try to write an editorial about them. I'm curious. Oh, hey, that did improve relations. Great. I love it. Oh, no, working conditions are incredibly poor. Yeah, we're, we're out of infantry, and we're out of tanks, and you shot down the fighter jet. We'll give him a break. Yes, Museum of Great Military Conquest. Let's celebrate it. The Honorable Basenji yeah, yeah, speech, speech, blah, 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 blah. Uh, American Warmongers... Defend, yeah. We will defend ourselves against imperialist aggressors with the might of our blessed armies. I'd like the event that allows me to reduce the chance of reducing drone prices. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, they love that. Second, we will promote developing and prototyping new technologies. Bye, Zerfo. Especially you said you're going to be here for a while. I expect you to be here longer, bruh. This broadcast will go for another two hours. Unless it ends sooner. <laughs> what a useless statement. What I <laughs> it is with a full heart that I say Of course what I mean there is that if this endless mode ends sooner than it ends. What another useless statement. I look to the future with tranquility. The People's Republic of Vicenji represents superior military, economic, and above all, moral power. Anyway, people love that speech. Fuck yeah! Alright, our deal's expired. My diplomatic efforts were appreciated. My ministers love me. Damn right they do. I can get 15 approval of the capitalists. She. Let's sell our goods and services again. Thank you. I'm taking it. I'm taking Thank you, Boethia. I'm glad. We still remain friends. So, I've been waiting on my intelligence agency to give me, you know more intel so I could ha fight a better war here with, with Sonia. You know, that's why I'm cranking, oh, I don't know, 40 million into their fucking grubby pockets. But, you know, I guess we're just gonna have to raise taxes for a turn. It's tragic. <laughs> this event again? This just happened, game. Come on. Oh, but people were upset. 50% taxes! No good! They each lost 2% approval, except for the Patriots who lost 3% approval. <sighs> Alright, maybe we can establish a common ground here. 45% taxes. Huh? Huh? My money is elite. Status report. All right, flux capacitors, 92% chance of success. Excellency, would you like to share stuff with everyone? No, we're taking the money this time. Okay, so after six in-game years, the events are recycling through. I wonder if the crises will start recycling too. <laughs> yeah, okay, everyone's good with 45% taxes. And we're making 45 million per turn. 45 at 45. It's it's poetry, everyone. It's fucking poetry. All right, intelligence agency, get your thumbs out of your asses. I have a hotel that's supposed to be helping you here. Increased intelligence collection. Well, get on it. I know we don't have an intelligence minister. I know we don't need an intelligence minister. Like I'm firing anyone, I'm swimming in loyalty points. 
Yes, I want other income. Thank you. What? <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> Attack Sonny within the next four turns. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Excuse me. All right. So, the war's over. Of course it's over. How didn't you notice that it was over? It was over. Because it totally ended. Did you guys miss that? It's totally over. Did you guys miss the war ending? Because I missed the war ending. change my readiness levels. I forgot about that. Yeah, I guess because I didn't attack them. And maybe I somehow improved my relations with them during the event, didn't notice. Oh, we're no longer at war. I mean, it was only a few months of not directly attacking them. <laughs> well, so much for that. Yeah, I can't adjust them now. Alright, well, that's been another fucking 25 loyalty points. Sure. I didn't even get the concession from them. Oh well, because the war just magically fucking evaporated into the ether. I forgot to relocate them. Alright, let's go ahead and lose tourism money again. Another medal of cultural expression, lol. Now we'll ignore this. We didn't lose a unit. How about that? What a novel concept. I think we got loyalty points, too. From winning a fight. Hmm. Hmm. Fascinating. I, you know, I've never really rocked with, like, setting these things up to, like, super ready before. It's not like it really helps drones, but I don't think it really hurts drones either because of the fact that they don't cost any money to maintain. So, why would that be a problem? Not yet. Not yet, honey bear. Anyway, that's war, everyone. It was fun. Well, at least we got shiny medals, guys. Woo! Shiny medals. Yeah, spring break. Show me your medals. No, we haven't learned about their military, Bobo. I would have gotten an intelligence report. You will. Now, the time machine, when it's built, you will be able to travel back to this moment from any future point of the Senji timeline. Three units. This war benefits nobody. We propose an armistice to end the pointless bloodshed. Okay. We expect you to pay for the damage you caused. If you agree to an armistice, 
We will pay you 50 million per turn up to a total of 120 million. Do you agree to these conditions? Very well, we accept. May we achieve lasting peace once and for all. I will not use the Wayback Machine. Oh, what the hell. I mean, who cares about an extra 15 million, right guys? Warning, you are about to travel back in time. This will only send you back to the time in place that your secret time machine was finally completed. You will not be able to accidentally prevent your parents from falling in love. You will not be required to rescue humpback whales upon your arrival. This is a one-time trip. No Groundhog Day shenanigans will be possible. You can take your clothes with you. This machine has a small risk of destabilizing the universe. If that happens, keep your arms and feet inside the machine and try to relax. And yes, theme songs. Huey Lewis and the News is back in time. Cher's Turn Back Time. Or Rocky Horror Picture Show's The Time Warp. I think the Rocky Horror Picture Show is fitting, considering that it's mid-October. This war benefits nobody. We propose an armistice to end the pointless bloodshed. Nah. There will be no peace today. I regret calling. We will put an end to your regime. So, whenever I first tried using this thing, and I posted like an image of like what it did on uh, on my Twitter account, there's a small chance of destabilizing the universe, right? Well, the game kept fucking crashing, so. Hmm. So yeah, that happened. But no, wait, maybe, maybe. 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 Just maybe. Hear me out. We should actually keep the... Keep the... We should accept the deal, right? <laughs> this war benefits nobody. We propose an armistice to end the pointless bloodshed. We expect you to pay for the damage you caused. If you agree to an armistice, we will pay you 50 million per turn up to a total of 120 million. Do you agree to these conditions? Very well, we accept. May we achieve lasting peace once and for all. All right. I do love how the fucking, like... So, as far as I can tell from the game files, and the time machine's created, it, cape, it creates like a separate save file. And the time machine will just keep referring back to that specific moment well, where the time machine has been created. So long as your character's still fucking able to walk inside the time machine and activate it, you know, if your control's not rested from you, I imagine you can keep playing with it. Anyway, it is time for the final secret project. Nuclear weapons development. Of course, we finished with all the shit that America could provide us some time ago. It's time to get nukes, baby. <sighs> it's been a good war. We had a good war. We shall remain present on the border in part because I don't feel like fucking moving all the units. And I don't think it's really costing me my money to keep them at readiness. What's my military expenses like? Armed forces. Two million. Oh, man. Oh, shit. That's for my one infantry unit that's on the board. That's all. What are the policies looking like? Splendid. GDP still... Eh. That's okay. Alright. GDP fixed. Oh. What was that? An explosion. 
Looks like it was at the Federal Building. I hope there weren't too many injuries. Tell General Adad to mobilize first responders. As you wish. Excellency, I have just received word from the Ministry of Intelligence. They appear to have identified where the Basenji Liberation Front are located. They wanted you to see this for yourself. When you are ready, our troops are prepared to attack their camp. Or, alternatively, you may wish to approach this diplomatically. I like that thinking, Bobo. Tell me where they are, and then I'll go use the time machine to kill them before they bomb us. The general's not even in here. Yeah, he's fucking active. He's busy, man. Resolve this diplomatically. Do I still have the confidence of our parliament? Nothing but irrelevant issues, Excellency. The majority seems to be pleased with your leadership. How is our international reputation? Relations with some of our neighbors are poor. You should reach out to them and try to find common ground. Any news from the polling agencies? How is the mood of our people? Excellency, the country is in a healthy shape. You can leave now. As you wish, Excellency. <laughs> Our GDP is still yellow. Oh well. Hey, have you heard? Thank you. Our federal building blew up. I end my turn. Get out of my face. Hello, General. Our uh, Excellency, we have some information on the explosion at the federal building. Go ahead. Five civil servants were killed. And 12 bystanders were injured. We have confirmed that it was a bomb. A group calling itself the Besenji Liberation Front has claimed the responsibility. They have a list of demands, including your removal from power and the holding of immediate free democratic elections. They threaten that if you do not comply, more attacks will occur against the Besenji government. 
We need to find and eliminate this threat. We know very little about them. We must increase our intelligence capacity in order to root them out. Do whatever you must to ensure the safety of our people. All right. You want me to attack Sonia within the next two turns? Okay. So, terrorism crisis suggests I build a counterterrorism unit, obtain sufficient intelligence on the country that is hiding the BLF, or spend $30 million per turn on intelligence for six consecutive turns, either attack the country that is hiding the BLF, or convince them to work with you on a joint operation. So, who is hiding the BLF? Is it Sania, Boethia, or Tajikistan? Let's find out. Can I see on the map? I guess I might have to fucking call him. Excellency. How is if you Do you know? I but uh military intelligence indicates that we over I didn't know whether we fucking, like, knew. I guess we'll just have to keep our intelligence funding up for that long. I'll try calling all of our friends. Does new paper say anything about this? Probably not, because I'm the one in control of it, right? <laughs> and I don't want the people to know about what the hell just happened. for taking my call. Sonia has something on BLS, you think? Did I just miss it? Leadership does not appear to be aware of Basenji Liberation Front activity. Well, I consider this as a possibility. Uh, last video, or rather, like, yesterday, the concept that, uh, like, because the, what little uh, information I knew about them uh, would have suggested that they might, like, fucking hide, like, in a, uh, another nation. And the only other thing that I really hadn't tried consistently was beating the shit out of a nation forever. And that certainly appears to have triggered it, which means that, uh, in theory, I should be able to get this to duplicate. In theory. Anyway... Uh, since my defense minister wants me to attack them anyway, you know what? I'll be friendly. Thank you for taking my call. Hey! We demand that you hand the Basenji Liberation Front cell operating in your country over to us. There is no terrorist cell in Sania. We would never allow extremists to operate within our borders. Okay, I tried. Apologies, but I must go. Let us speak again later. Goodbye. Okay. Now watch, I attempt to do this, like, outside of endless mode and I can't replicate it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My minister wanted me to do this anyway. I will miss you, loyalty points. We probably need some more drones, right? The price of freedom and all that. You know, I tried. <laughs> Lord knows I tried. Of course, these guys aren't going on the attack wave. They will admire the attack wave. Good turn, everyone. Hmm. Should probably close my borders with them at some point, huh? Especially now that I know how to trigger that. Or at least I think I know. Excellency, we have information on the Basenji Liberation Front. Go ahead. 
Our CTU has captured a suspected member of this terrorist group. Regrettably, the suspect did not survive our interrogation process. Before the suspect expired, we learned that this radical organization is set to force democracy on our people at any cost. They are operating out of a neighboring state. We do not know which one. <laughs> when we do find out, we will probably have to attack their borders. Or alternatively, get the offending state to turn the terrorists over to us. The longer we take to find out where they are operating from, the more likely it is that another attack will occur. Until they are found, we should invest in counter-terrorism capacity and devote resources to intelligence collection Thank you, General Adad. Thank you, game. The game probably doesn't expect you to just be immediately on the fucking ball with handling the terrorism crisis. This war benefits no. Nah, no peace. Guess we're attacking them again. shame we can't use our time machine to go back and immediately pinpoint where the Basenji Liberation Front is, right? Well, let's do it again. Yeah, I won't buy anymore. So, uh, how's our nuclear enrichment coming along? Alright, good. Good. So, I'll probably close my borders with Sonia now. It's been fun. Again. Let's closely regulate the goats. You want me to improve their relationship? What more do you want from me? I wonder if the game's fucking broken now. Whether I just fucking, like, broken the event. I guess I'll keep fucking attacking them. <laughs> oh, shit. Let's, uh... Let's get two more tanks on the case, I guess. You know, maybe if it all goes Pete Tong, I'll uh I'll use the time machine and we'll try it again. Oh. Okay, the all these guys are by default starting at alert. Well, that one did. Hmm. Alright, sure. Whatever. We got a war to win. Let's go. General. Excellent. What happened to this whole diplomatic approach that I could have attempted? I but uh why do we still have insufficient intelligence on Sadia? Yay, money, yay. I like it. We'll give it to the people for a change. I am feeling like a generous god. Hello, General. Messenger's armed forces have raided a small compound on the other side of the border. All remaining members of the Besenji Liberation Front are reported to have been killed. The threat to the Besenji posted by the terrorists is over. Unfortunately, our neighbor is outraged over the breach of their sovereignty and has mobilized troops for a proportional response. Have they? Have they? Have they? Tell me more. Oh, we resolved the terrorists, everyone. That's really fucking easy to handle. <laughs> so long as you got, like, fucking units, or I guess a good relate. Oh my god, look how many medals we have. Oh, 
Oh, shit. Well, it's certainly been fun in Endless. We'll, uh, keep it going for, like, another hour or so. And then I guess in my next Rogue State broadcast, I will attempt to replicate this. Also, Sonny is apparently uh, mobilizing a, a response, so I'm kind of looking forward to that. Uh, we're going to turn him away. Oh no, Sonia hates me more. Three units. Ouch. This war benefits nobody. We propose an armistice to end the pointless... Well, that's right, XSI. I don't use drones much. This game is obviously an exception. We expect you to pay for the damage you caused. If you agree to I don't do much war, we'll provide you with enough weapons and equipment to maintain two additional military units. Uh, do you agree to these conditions? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. <laughs> I need another drink. Where did I? Where did I put my bottle opener? Oh, there it is. Next to the microphone. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on here. So, to bribe and pay off the person attacking you, you're gonna... You're gonna offer me more firepower. Very well, we accept. May we achieve lasting peace once and for all. Weapons from my enemy. It'll give me the ability to maintain two additional military units. I'm not exactly sure. Like, does that mean I can just spring for two military units at no cost? Have they given me two free military units? Well. Alright. Sure. Yeah. We had a good war. <laughs> it was a good war. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> oh. We'll have to pay me. Our, our healthcare costs are minus negative two million per turn. <laughs> oh. By the way, intelligence, you guys. Hmm. Emergency methods. Still trying to figure out how strong Sadia's military is. Oh no, Boethia! Our relationship! Thank you. Oh, right. It's because we turned away those investigators. Right, 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 right. That's why they're sad. I, I know. It's amazing. Alright, yeah. Good, 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 good. We'll just sit on our laurels. Oh no, our air quality. No, you win. Don't be sad. No. Speech. Speech. The honorable Basenji people, my fellow countrymen and women, my beloved citizens, I address you today as we are ushering in a new era in the history of our homeland. I wish to address you first, as you are the owners of this blessed land, its defenders. The builders of hmm. its prosperity. I guess I just got unlucky, perhaps. The one time I spent, like, a great deal of time at war, enough to get, like, compensated by buildings and shit. Hmm. Yeah, that was new content, though, definitely. I'm, uh... I'm glad I saw that. Yeah, I'm glad we experienced that together. Endless mode. 
Yeah. It's been fun mode, for sure. Um... You know... Independence, national identity... Uh, youth credits... Sovereignty... We believe in stuff. Good. Alright. Our deals expired once again. Thank I have shoveled so much money down the gullet of intelligence services. <laughs> trying to just fucking figure out any scrap of information I can. I'm taking about Sonia's military for fuck's sakes. I think I'm done. I think I'm done fucking shoveling money down their gullets. You have cost me so many hundreds of millions of dollars. You go down to five billion, that's the minimum amount, and never bother me again as I continue to run my super stable country. All those loyalty points I set on fire for free tank brigades, totally worth it. What? Come on. You can't do that to me. We're friends. My relationships. Oh, oh. <laughs> shit! He's no longer giving us our intelligence money welfare. We're gonna have to give him the research. Casual drinker and smoker known to have a violent temper. You sons of bitches did not earn your money back. No. I'm cutting you off. Sure, Russian ambassador. We'll take your money again. Oh, right. Probably shouldn't have done that whenever I'm uh, building up my, uh, my nuclear weapon arsenal. Right, right. Now we'll vote in favor of this resolution. Good thing I have oil to placate America. Yes. All right, let's, what, what's our nuclear enrichment like now? Mm-hmm, okay. 100% probability success, good. I'd hate to have to use the time machine, guys. We'd have to defeat the, the terrorists again. Great! Ninety-eight percent probability of success. Oh, good, good, good. It's, it's fine. I'd like it to be triple digits, but fine. They completely ignore Obama there. That's not the real president of the United States in this game. If you... Thank you. Everything is fine. This is fine. Criticism of the government still unacceptable. conditions are very poor. Nah, <laughs> sounds like a problem that ain't fine. Thank you. Oh. Hey, America. You want to visit? Sorry I tried to assassinate you before. Yay, happy days. We're going to deny... Uh, Agent Snowflake's asylum request. Uh, for one, because we already gave him one earlier in the prior Agent Snowflake event. And two, I want to keep America happy and unsuspecting of the bullshit that I'm about the poll. They didn't care. Hmm. That's a pity. They were not fooled <laughs> by my hijinks. Thank you for seeing me, Ambassador. It is no trouble at all. I mean... Oh. I, I hope we'll insult her after we get the nukes. Eh. We'll conduct a food review. Wait, it's Tajikistan? Fuck you, Tajikistan. <laughs> wow! That happened so much quicker than what I thought it would! 
Oh shit! Those university scientists were awesome! We have the bomb. You want me to move an additional unit to the Sonia border within the next four turns? We have the bomb. Let's call our friends. Thank you for taking my call. It is always a pleasure to hear from you. No doubt you are receiving a fair bit of attention after announcing your intention to withdraw from the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. We hope that a nuclear armed machine will be a force for good in our region, and that we can work towards the day that we will not need such weapons. Dude! That is the friendliest response I've received to having these! You truly are my friend! Man! Fuck, man, I'm gonna buy something from you. We are interested in negotiating a trade agreement where we purchase your film and television products. Taking into account our positive relationship, these are the terms we are prepared to agree to. Sold! I will consume your media, good sir. Apologies, but I must go. Let us speak again later. Goodbye. He is in no way terrified of my fucking nukes. I have so much money per turn now that I'm not paying for a secret project. Hey, Sadia. <laughs> Gorse cannot call Chichikistan. Their leader is dead. Hey! Good day, Ambassador. Right, I can't insult her anymore. She won't visit me. Oh well. You have shredded international law, and Basenji has jeered at the very idea of an international community. In response, the United States will be severing our diplomatic relationship until you renounce these weapons of mass destruction. Oh well. Well, I built all the secret projects in the game. I also built the nuclear warheads. I've never just like built them outright before. I've tried. Yeah. All the projects are done. This... We're good? Alright. Fucking making money hand over fist. Everyone loves me. I already done it before XSI. It ends the game. On recording, I nuked Moscow. <laughs> so there's that. That was after Russia betrayed me. I have not forgotten. I have so many things I still haven't bought here. And I only had to buy some of this shit because of the damn epidemic crisis. No, we ain't using the nuke. Hmm. Sure, I mean, I don't need them. Don't really need to pay for them, but I'll take them. Why not? It's not like this country is going to be destabilized or anything. I'm just going to click through the turns here and see whether... Any... If there's anything new that I haven't seen before. Anything comes cycling back to me. We'll have police arrest strikers. Send a misfit team of deep core drillers into space to deflect the asteroid safe, safely, into uninhabited territory. Fuck you, Klendathu Bug Menace. Although I should have let the asteroid hit to see if it would have blown up Dr. House. Cosmonauts credited with saving the country. Good. We'll call our friend in Boethia. Yeah, let's fucking see how endless this is. We, of course, uh, are getting liberal approval per turn. Because we're importing media products. You know, America still loves media. Ray! Right! Oh, I... 
Oh, right, she wanted me to move more units to the border. Shit, I wasn't paying attention. I could have done that. Oh, well, I was too busy. Especially having my epiphany here. Wait, right. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Scar might not be involved, but goddammit, I'm putting it there anyway because it makes me feel good. <laughs> Sure, America, love me! Speech! The Honorable Vicenge, I, I would have. American Warmongers. This doesn't really help me with American Warmongers. I've tried the youth credits thing before, it doesn't work out for the Warmongers. All right, speech failed. Oh no, my deals. I'm making money from those, damn it. Buy my stuff. Good. Glad you bought my stuff. Time to print more money. The Bank of America's open, yeah. Gonna open the Bank of America, yeah. What if we do 49% taxes? Open in the bank, yeah. Disaster Relief Fund, yeah. We did it. Okay, they kind of care about that. What if we celebrate and now have 48% taxes? Now I'm trying to find, like, the minist of, the miniest of Maximus, whatever the fuck I was trying to say there was dumb. I'm coming down from the sugar high. Whee! Let's put some more money in the disaster relief fund because we're out because of all the disasters we've had. Oh no, throw money at the problem. What did our GDP look like again? It's probably yellow, still. No, it's green. Good. Everyone is happy. Okay. Everything perfectly stable. No one's gaining. No one's losing. 48% taxes. I am satisfied. Patriot approval. We'll use one of our mini cards there. And capitalist approval. How are they with me? 99%. It's the fundamentalists who are sad-faced. Oh, well, can't do anything about it. I guess I could. Don't care. Let's go. America dr Yes! Lower the build cost of drones. What do you want? Okay, I'll remember this time. I pinky swear. Two units to that border. I will remember. Okay, they cost 60 million now as opposed to 80 million. Mm-hmm. Danny. Where? We'll move these units here. There's good there's no threat of violence from there, courtesy of the fact that, that country is currently in our anarchy. But hey, I filled the request. Everything is great. Let the people decide. Choice and all that. We got a card. Wonder who it's from. It's a card from our friends. Why won't you give me the $25 million cards, bitch? Alright, we're on turn 100. Has the game really escalated to provide us greater challenges? No. If the game threw multiple crises at us, like at the same time, that might be something that threw new shit at us. That, of course, would be exciting. You know what? 
Fuck you. You're heretics. Be arrested. You're dumb. Wait, right, I forgot to keep... I gotta, I gotta keep printing money, I keep forgetting. Military aid to my neighbor. Get out of our faces, America. What are you gonna do? Attack me? You better not, or else you'd be breaking the rules of the game. Neighboring countries will never attack the Sinji, even if your relationship is toxic. With weapons of mass destruction, the U.S. and the U.N. will never attempt to overthrow your regime. Again, I've never had the U.N. attempt to overthrow me. The one time it happened, it was definitely America. We'll take care of it ourselves. And America loves that. We could have paid him, but nah. Alright, we know more. How much more do we know? We still don't know about his military. <laughs> How big is the military? Will we ever discover? <laughs> Will the truth finally be revealed? Son of a bitch. Alright, I don't know about ex like importing his culture again. I think once was enough. Oh yes, they're gonna rise against me. Oh no, no. No, not again, no. You want me to attack Sonia within the next three turns? I can do that. Yeah, we might as well just do it now. Sonia. Thanks for the military units, bruh. I think these uh, these planes will look really good over your country. You're welcome. I should have moved more stuff over there. I didn't. We'll do it now. Oh, I guess we'll import Bengal Tigers. We have the environmental policy. Ta -da! We lost three units, but we won the respect of my minister. <laughs> so much patriotic approval. It is incredible. Nukes remove all fun. Nukes just prevent them from attacking me. Like, I can still attack them just fine. <laughs> Did you have a good stretch back there, Indy? You feel better now? <laughs> oh. oh no. Damn you, British tourists! Crashed in your cruise ship. Okay. We lost another three units. It was treasure. This war benefits nobody. We propose an armistice to end the pointless bloodshed. Give me stuff. We expect you to pay for the damage you caused. If you agree to an armistice, we will pay your next state purchase. Do you agree to these conditions? I do! Very well. We accept. May we achieve lasting peace once and for all. My next state purchase? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! So this is something else I'll be able to test out, too. First off, of course, we have to print money. No, America finally caught us. If I had only known the nukes would have been finished the turn, like that turn after I had talked to the ambassador, I totally would have insulted her. Okay, so... We don't really need the stadium. But it's the most expensive thing here. Salia pays the state purchase. Now I'm gonna check to see whether the bug's fixed. <laughs> yep, totally fixed. Yep, they uh, they did a good job on that one, guys. Mm -hmm. Ah, <laughs> you could. Could never fucking tell it was broken. <laughs> Thanks, Sonia. So the real exploitation here 
is if you fucking keep attacking someone successfully, affording the cost, which of course the costs of war are immense to be true, with how many units you can lose, and hope that you can stumble into a they pay for your state purchases thing, and then buy all the rest of the state purchases. Yep. Totally fixed. I like the part where it was fixed. Good part. <laughs> I mean, I could have afforded all that shit anyway, but still. Ah, good times. Good times. Very profitable war for us. Did we lose the fighter jet? The fighter squadron. No, oh, it's still there costing us money. I'd feel guilty scrapping it, though. <laughs> I will undeploy it, though. Let me go back into the screen. Alright, good. Let's go. Our ministers work hard to receive those payments. Our... Relationships values barely decreased. You want me to move more units to a border? I can handle that. For those of you who pick up or lagged for whatever reason, uh, I finished building all of the buildings in my country on Sonia's budget. The bug, despite, despite the developers telling everyone that it had been fixed, was not fixed in that instance. Yes, Western greed, it's terrible, it's awful. Pity me. I keep forgetting to print money. <laughs> oh well. I don't care about this speech. Speech is I'm awesome. Tepid approval. Great. Our deals expired. I got another favor card, but I can only have a maximum of four, and they're all Patriot approval anyway. Alright, so we're definitely stress testing this game. Fucking awesome, though. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm, I'm fucking glad that, of course, the, the bug exploit that had been fixed actually wasn't fixed. Thank you. Good day. I must admit, I was troubled to learn of your decision to withdraw from the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. This undermines the stable peace we enjoy in our region. I fear that now other states in our region will now want to do the same. Stable peace, huh? <laughs> yep, stable peace. <laughs> you know how stable our peace is. Thank you for taking my... <laughs> Ugh, terrible value from oil. Oh well. We still sell weapons to you? Good. Alright. We're moving along now. Just cruise control in here. Approval ratings are amazing. Banking up another legion of points. Civil war has broken out. Well, no shit, they're in anarchy. Not my problem. What do you want now? Good lord, you needy bitch. I'll give you another Patriot approval card. If you just move more units to the border. Don't you want a card, Your Excellency? You've been in power for fucking approaching ten years now. When is the supposed democracy that you're instituting going to come up? Haha, -ha, bitch. <laughs> there is no democracy. In here. Just to make sure there's enough units on the border. <laughs> Ooh, 
we're fine. No, we're... You know what, military? You deserve something good for you. There you go, military. You got something good just for you. I spent 200 million dollars and you can rejoice. I got I got another fighter squadron out of it. So it wasn't a totally useless transaction. But okay, military, because we totally needed that little extra bit of kick in the ass. How is morale within our armed forces? If you don't mind me saying, the troops love you. They will follow your orders faithfully. <sighs> Thanks. Thanks. <sighs> well, that energy crash combined with uh me waking up early in the day. Is uh, definitely hitting here, and the fact that the gameplay, uh, after eliminating the Basenji Liberation Front, not that intense. <laughs> I, but, uh, military intelligence indicates that we have the armed forces of Sania in both numbers and training. We anticipate an incursion into their borders will result in minimal losses on our side. I didn't even notice that you guys fucking actually got me the correct intel. But... Did I click on the wrong country? Excellent. I'm not other than military intel. No. Alright, <laughs> maybe he just fucking pieced it together after all the successful attacks. Maybe he fucking figured it out. I'm also uh, dropping a bit more frames now. Uh, they've been slowly leaking out, or leaking out right now as a matter of fact. Yep, this uh, appears to have uh, happened rather, not too, uh long ago. They're just slowly seeping away. Like everyone's energy. Excellent news. More money. I love money. Gold! Yeah, uh, I gotta tell you, this, uh, this state-oiled offshore mega-rig that increases tax revenue by 20% Pretty damn useful compared to some of the other bonuses you can get from some of the other scenarios. Some of which I've never bothered to build. I can think of at least one off the top of my head that I never bothered to build. My income display there is broken because uh, of the event money that I got last turn. Don't factor that in. I'm not making that much actually. Sure, we'll commit additional funds. We care about our proud athletes, I guess. No, the United States is like, fooled again! They have oil, but they keep printing our money. Sure, we'll negotiate the release of the hostages, whatever. Instead of sending in the CTU this time. What the hell, why not? Are there any more events or panics you can throw at me, game? Any more? Are you done? Are you spent? Alright, we still don't have the death penalty. Damn it. We'll imprison the spy. America is still not impressed. Chug it along here. Your request is stupid. Keep printing money. You never know when we might get into another war. Your loan is dumb. 
Oh no, working conditions are still very poor, if only I cared. Over all of this money I have. Shit. Man. It's definitely Sonia. You're right, Novia. Human rights reforms? Yeah, what the hell. <laughs> Gotta keep up that tourism money, you know? All of how much are we making from tourism? Two million. <laughs> Gotta keep that going, you know? It's important to the economy. Yeah, full access. Farouk doesn't exist event. What do you want? You want me to improve relationships with that shitty Civil War nation again? God, have a nice day. Happy to help. Best help I ever gave. I love how I've balanced out my country's, like, relations and everything, and my faction approval remains consistently high at, excuse me, what? 48% taxes. Right. 48% taxes. I already arrested you guys and, like, took control over, like, the entire paper. How did you guys regain control of the paper? Get back in prison. Good, I got another card. What did you give me? You gave me shit. Thanks. Couldn't give me more money, you know. That'd be... That'd be silly. I support this idea. Another speech. Oh, this is definitely endless. Let's just pick one. 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 Good speech. I may have made promises there I don't intend on keeping. Larian. <laughs> I'm not going to bother. <laughs> Wait, move two additional units to that border? Okay, I can do that. Let's do it. Look at how beloved we are. Everyone's our friend. Everyone wants to be our friend. Ooh, good point. Good point, shop. Good point. <laughs> Turn 120. 10 years in power. find the paper that looks upon me favorably, damn it. Alright. Time to go to the main menu. Ninja Fox Master. Let's 
going to be painful having that along with the intelligence requirements. I guess we'll sign to finance. No, I'm not new. Thank you. There is two feet feet off. There is back off. <laughs> Apollo. All right. So. Speed reconstruction. Thank you. Decided right now. Do I want to adjust the treasury or policies? Well, definitely policies. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and fix that. All about gambling, ban alcohol, deal all this around quickly. Más rápido. Fighting point, huh? It is. Well, they'll probably figure it out. There we go. Figured out. Of course, losing a bit of money. Regrettable. Open borders for everyone. What kind of goods are we looking at here? It doesn't matter, completely irrelevant. It matters, but I'm not gonna let it matter. And we'll call someone else. Oh, Arnold! Hey Don! Thank you. What not? Issue. I can't afford that. Taxes. They go down. Everyone can rejoice. Lack of taxation. Happy days are here for everyone. Thank you. A what the year for? You seen one, you seen them all. Huh. Issues. No one really cares. Sonia. Did I tell you Thank how much you. I wanted to deepen cooperation? We, we Western we imperialism? That's right. Good talk. Issues. <sighs> Strong relations with America are kind of important here. I mean, the oil is going to solidify that for me, but still. Bye, Larian. Take care. If you can hear this, Patriots want to go up to 73% approval. Okay. We could probably do that. Let's get our oil and plastics. In prison, Monarchus? Yep, 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 yep. And we'll start working towards the global shipping giant. Okay. Who are we gonna trade with? Uh, I guess it's gonna be a Velistan. They need both of our goods. Are you sure? I'm continuing to Are slowly you, leak sir? out frames. Up to 2,500 drop now. Apollo. As opposed to the last time I talked about, it's 1,400. And finally, we want to increase taxes. Because of course we do. We had our fun with low taxes. Now it's time for high taxes. 
seize the day and all that. Ah, uh, fuck. Well, so much for uh, having high capitalist approval soon. Damn, that hurts. Got to ask for foreign aid? Because, of course, we don't have anything in the disaster relief fund. Nor could I have gotten enough money in the disaster... Well, I could have had, like, maybe 25 billion, but I kind of rebuilt my country, man. I don't have time to wait for that shit. Okay, that's rough. I'm not going to be able to quickly repair that. So, we'll cut these guys a break, and instead of doing 45% taxes or 48, we'll do a whopping 40. Happy days. Celebrate, everyone. You're welcome. Yeah, we'll just hold on to our money this turn. Yeah, we'll hold on to it. Okay, I need to do enough to assemble an army to beat the shit out of someone. While also having enough money set up for my uh, intelligence headquarters. I can probably get that done. Let's go ahead and intern here and we'll just hold steady on this money. <laughs> I have 25 million. I guess. Patriots are very displeased with me. That'll happen. Okay. Um, American Hotel. Oh, wait, right. We'll also be calling Donald. Uh... We'll do that. Uh, global shipping giant. Extra 30 million that we're just gonna sit on. Hey, Donald. Good day, Ambassador. Would you be free to meet sometime in the next few weeks? It is always a pleasure, Your Excellency. I would be happy to meet with you when an opportunity opens in our busy schedule. He's probably my favorite of the American ambassadors in this game. And by probably, of course, I mean definitely. Yep, approval ratings. They're pretty rough. Hey, Farouk, how's it going? Fucking drinking my money. That's okay, I expected you to. We'll be fine. We'll be fine, probably. I might transition to an early state owned offshore mega ponage owns ours, whatever the fuck. That's the technical term, folks. Labor rights, oh right. Yeah. Oops. Those poor liberals. Ah, oh, poor liberals, man. I tell ya. So abused. We'll be fine. We'll get support up and on the go eventually. What's up? We'll make immediate reforms. Fundamentalists are like, what the fuck? And they flip a table. Hey, Donald. How's it going? Don, my man. What's shaking? It's cool to see you again. Thank you for seeing me, Ambassador. Yeah, there's no trouble at all. Yeah, I mean all. <laughs> Tell me. I am well. You. You are too kind. Tell me about foreign aid. Yeah, I can make a case for the Secretary of State to invest 75 million in the Vicentia economy. Yeah, it's just taxpayer money after all. Ha <laughs> ha. Wow. Okay. Uh. President? Even though a lot the president is on a pan Damn. Help me. It's disappointing that you can't maintain control of your own country. Very well. I'll write an editorial in the newspaper in support of your so-called leadership. Thanks, Donald. Tell me. Well, I did hear some gossip from the ambassador of New Zealand the other day. Ooh, gossip. I like gossip. I believe that is all I have to say for the moment. Very well. Thank you for your hospitality. Fantastic. Babelistan. Progressive moderate. Neat. Alright, cool. We have great relations with our neighbors. It's a pity that we might have to punch the shit out of one of them. Who can say? Who can say? At least we'll try punching shit out of him. We'll see what happens. We're making lots and lots of bank. I like it. 
kind of nervous, of course, about the fucking... Uh, use your words, Grimoth. About the disaster relief fund. We already had one of those events pop up. But I am making so much money that I'll go ahead and toss money into that. Ten million per turn. Uh, let's see here. What do I want to set up now? I'll be doing that probably within the next ten turns. Let's start setting up a war situation. We'll be picking up boosts uh, along the way here. Um, to get everyone sort of on the bandwagon about this whole war business. Let's go ahead and get this environmental policy paper. Along with the wildlife refuge. That's to boost up uh, liberal and patriot support because it's pretty low at the moment. We'll transition then into uh, national military readiness doctrine, rather, for an arms bazaar to boost my GDP. That's a good turn. Great. I love it. We'll, uh, we'll definitely be taking that money ourselves. We could share it with the people, but we need that money. More than the people do, that's for sure. Working conditions are pretty poor. Eh, it'll probably be fine. So, now that we've done that, everyone's doing pretty good approval-wise. That's great. Let's go ahead and get our national defense done. No. Let's, uh, really shore up that fundamentalist approval. And, uh, get the national defense doctrine for plus five patriot support here. Making 90 million per turn, doing no secret projects. That's not what I'm here for. Ah, uh, damn. I did just get that, uh, that protectionist paper, so I will be using it on that. I think. As much as I'd like the tourism money, uh, the GDP will fix itself on its own. Yeah, this boost level support will do it. Otherwise, what the hell is the point of me getting that paper? No, I completely... I wasn't even fucking paying attention to whatever your request was. Didn't matter to me. Sorry, Chief. I'm bit focused in the zone right now. Okay. Uh, what else do I want to set up here? I think that's pretty much all I need to set up. Other than the counterterrorism stuff and the uh, intelligence service. Let's go ahead and get visitor screening. And we'll grab those things next turn, or perhaps a few turns after that. We're looking pretty good, though. We're looking pretty strong. I will call the fella Stan again. Say hi. We are unfortunate. Yes. Damn you, Westerners. And we'll end our turn. Damn you, schizophrenic. Hmm, let's see here. Intelligence service and counterterrorism unit. At this point, we will start saving up money now. Uh, for troops to go to war. My goal here is to uh, be fighting... Uh, like turn 18 to turn 20. I think that's rather feasible with the setup I've just achieved here. Let's push forward. Your requests are done. Working conditions are still very poor. You know, it's, you know, some might consider it a problem. I consider it an opportunity. America. Good day, Ambassador. Would you come say hello, please? I would very much enjoy your company. Eh. You may have a point. Divorce make it unattractive. Thank you for seeing me. 
Yeah. Small talk. Military partnership. I don't think the time is right for this. Uh, we may want to invade Basenji one day, uh, just keeping our options. <laughs> All right. Keeping our the president is on a. Damn you. I hope. <laughs> I'm not done with you, Donald. What do you want? You want me to condemn the United States in my next fucking speech? I guess I can do that. Oh well. That's an easy one to satisfy because I got a speech coming up soon. Wow, so easy to maintain approval ratings in this game. With 40% access, jeez. Game's so challenging, everyone. How do you even play this? Oh, sweet, delicious money shekel power. Love it. But we could give it to everyone. We could. It wouldn't give us that much. I know I said it before that it wouldn't give us that much, and I'll go ahead and stick to that attitude. We'll share it with everyone. Tajikistan didn't even fucking care. They're like, fuck it, that's dumb. I wish the Damn you, American warmongers. Competitive. Sovereignty. Our speech flubbed. But hey, we condemned America. Mission accomplished. Hey, Donald. Hope you didn't watch my speech. Is the president still on tour? You, given our the president is damn. Given a military partnership. Oh, that sounds like something that would advance my. That's career. true, Novia. I agree. New military units. Great. Those will be useful for our sudden yet inevitable war. Do you want me to attack Tajikistan within the next three turns? I guess we're going to war sooner than what I thought we were, guys. Next three turns. I can do that. What? Oh, I can do that. I would do anything for love. Anything you've been dreaming of. But I just won't do that. How many loyalty points we have banked? Not enough is the correct answer. Okay. Tajikistan, huh? We'll go ahead and uh, look at everything I got in advance. Also, that uh, that was a very disappointing military alliance with the United States there. Wow, that was crummy. I'll accept your money. Thank you. I like cash. You were impressed with my powerful anti-American rhetoric. I'm glad. 15 approval with liberals. I'll go ahead and cash that in right now. The approval ratings are strong. Time for me to uh, buy some stuff. We're gonna grab. I just like the values of the tank more than I like the values of the rocket battery, even though the rocket battery has stronger attack, and that's definitely what I'm going to be doing. Maybe we'll mix it up. We'll uh, certainly be spending the cash here on making sure this war goes through. We'll even buy an infantry unit. We attack next turn. I'm keeping one unit undeployed in case of a random event. That's all I wanted to do, I think. I guess I'll call Donald again. Donald! Good day, Ambassador. I'll keep pestering you. Cool. Western blight, blah, 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 blah. Problem though is that I'm not exactly sure how long I need to keep bashing on a country for this liberation front Thank to appear. Me, uh, the Damn it. Tell I, well, for you. I and uh, perhaps I should have invested in drone warfare instead. It may have been smarter on my part. Instead of just burning all that money. That was like 400 fucking million I burned. 
Instead of just setting up drone warfare. Oh, that would have been easier. Shit. Well, I chose this path. I'm going to fucking lie in my bed now. This is my fault. We got our cyber warfare gun to go. We'll go ahead and set everyone up to super readiness. I have no idea how strong they are compared to me. I expect to be vomiting two to three units at a time. But, it's a bit earlier than I thought I would do this war, as I noted. But the job popped up. Thought I'd take it. Well. Shit. Coal plants it is. <laughs> Lost two units. Okay. Our deals have expired. Let's go ahead and grab that cartel. We'll call up Babelistan. Sell the plastics. Are you digging? I don't know how long I need to bash on a nation. I don't fucking know exactly when this damn the Senji Liberation Front will trigger for me, if this is even how I could invoke it. 15 approval of Fundamentalists. That's not a bad card to keep in my pocket. Not sure if it was worth this early war, but we declared it. It happened. Two of our very valuable units were lost there. Yeah. Wow. Rough. I'm gonna tag again. I guess I'm gonna go until I can force like a, a peace, a peace deal and armistice. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and ratify this in the law because I got some support to spare. Okay, good. Great firewall within the next 23 turns. Hi. Please, uh, please give me the offer to build a building. Please give me an offer to build a building. We expect you to pay for the damage you caused. Do you agree to these conditions? Uh, uh, you didn't offer me anything. There will be no peace today. I regret calling. We will put an end to your regime. I'm probably going to regret that choice. <laughs> Considering the lack of finances I have for this fucking war. I know, so you agreed to conditions of get fucked. <laughs> I'm like, no. As a matter of fact, I don't. Hmm. A foolish choice, my child. I'm like, oh, okay. Again, drones would have been a better choice. But I didn't. I'm fully committed to this path. We'll wait a turn, I guess. Oh, we got ourselves a military victory, but we can increase tourism. That's right, guys. That's exactly what he did. And he pissed me off. Oh, yes. We are very much a new person, Bobo. Things have changed. Stuff is different now. Donald. Sanction Babelistan? No! Fuck you, Gabe. I know, right before I meet with Donald, too.
I'm trying to tr trigger a, a terrorist crisis, Bobo. God damn your Pan Asian tour! You, I hope. Get the fuck out of my office. Okay, we fended off an attack. We lost a total of three units. Oof. I wonder if you'll hand me another drawing of a middle finger. <laughs> this is certainly an expensive war. I'm not used to burning all my money on this warfare shit. This is weird. I feel dirty. This is terrible. Still want to keep that undeployed. You know. No, we'll... We'll do it. If the event pops up where I need an undeployed unit, I'll just fucking shake my head. Don't have the money. I'm working on it, Minister. This war benefits nobody. We propose an armistice to end the pointless bloodshed. We expect you to pay for the damage you caused. If you agree to an armistice, yes! you will pay your next pay yes! Do you agree to these conditions? Yes! Very well. We accept. May we achieve lasting peace, once and for all. I forgot to buy the super oil rig that I wanted anyway. We'll start with that. Hmm. Could be hitbox to some extent, but also I, I'm up to like 4200 plus frames drop. Like the early part of the broadcast was much stronger than what it is now, unless there's a whole lot of party and event shit happening on October 17th, Monday night. Monday late night even. Ah. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good on stuff. I don't feel like buying anything else due to the expense per turn, and nor do I really need to get all this other stuff. I'll get the presidential guard. Unlocks access to drone warfare. Which I'll certainly be taking advantage of, but yeah, we're good otherwise. That was a great war. It was very expensive. But uh, we got ourselves some military victories. Hopefully that'll turn out alright. I will say that Twitch definitely does uh, excel in hit at Hitbox uh, in having greater stability. I just, I still prefer hitbox. As inconvenient as it can be for some viewers. Good day, Ambassador. Would you be. It is not. It might just be my connection to the hitbox server. That one particular hitbox server could be having trouble. And that's why frames are being misplaced. Anyway, the war is over, boys. We uh, don't have much of a military to show for it, but the war is over. Sure, have full access. All right, Donald. I have a mission to get the president to meet me. You fucking meet me. You have him meet me, damn it. Thank you. President. The president is God damn your tour! You. I I Fuck you, Donald. Donald. Good day, I'm 
we're not done yet, Donald. Did I buy my oil rig? Good, I did. I wonder if this still works after a turn. Yeah, they still pay for it. Good! I'm glad. We might as well grab the drone warfare. Even if they won't pay for the drones. Making lots of loyalty point bank per turn. And uh, we're definitely going to want to uh, start banking up money to buy drones. For uh, if we, should we need to go to war again. I hope this triggers the, uh, the terrorist crisis though. Oh, I've had higher you. Thank you. Give another president. God damn you, Donald. Uh, you are. I have a Donald. Donald, it's literally impossible for me to do this job because you keep fucking me. Oh, intel on Donald. Yeah, doesn't really help me. Oh, intel on Tajikistan. Three additional units to the Babelistan border, huh? Okay, I can probably do that. We'll just move these folks over to the Babelistan, then. And abandon my border with Tajikistan, leaving me completely open to assault. Hmm. When you put it like that... These guys are terrible at defense, but there's something. Interface is not the best here in Rogue State for handling uh, massive quantities of units, as I have proven during this broadcast. I'm up to have dropping now a whopping 0.9% of all my frames this broadcast. It will be ending within the next 15 minutes. I just want to see if I can get this damn thing to trigger, since we got it to trigger during the endless run. Don't be tricked by that plus 282 million. It's an event. It's lying. So we made a bunch of money with the last event. It's a lie. The money's a lie. Also, my people love me. I can increase taxes by a few more percentile points. We'll go up to the whopping 45%. Oh no, terrorist, damn you. Curse your sudden yet inevitable tra betrayal. Alright, more fundamentalist approval cards. Alright, you want the Great Firewall, that ain't happening, right? I remember that, forgot to call Donald. Laster. Good day, Ed. Donald, if you make this president not appear, I'm gonna be very cross with you. Oh. People are kind of upset about that. Hmm. I'll show you. We won't tax you at all for a turn. How do you like them apples? There. We won't charge you anything. You can celebrate. Run in the streets. Dance. Dance with your friends. Dance with everyone. Be merry. We'll probably attack Tajikistan again. Not my problem. Donald. Show me a president, Donald. That's right, only for a month, Novia. Thank Give another president. God damn it, Donald. Look, if it's little if it's literally impossible for me to have succeeded in this at all, despite having great relations with America, I'm gonna be very pissed at you. You specifically, Donald. This is your fault. Taxes will now go up to 50%. Such is the way of the system. I feel as if I'm some sort of fucking system master now, of all the shit I know about this. 
Do I want to build anything more using Tajikistan's money? I don't really think so. Like, it's gonna cost me money to get this shit. Yeah, what the fuck, I'll grab it. Next turn. Whenever I go to war. Yeah, I'm gonna declare war again. As if you're surprised. We'll find the university. Oh, good, another speech. Speech! Spiritual and moral compass. Oh, this speech is gonna fucking kill. It just slayed. Oh, sweet, delicious speech. Forty-eight percent. Good enough. Fuck, I forgot to call Donald again. Good day. Donald. You better fucking give me what I need, Donald. Don't piss me off. I told you I will be cross with you. Thank you, Tajikistan. Thank you once again, Tajikistan. Let's go ahead and uh, shore up that liberal support right there. I really don't need to buy the rest of this stuff. Yeah? Bought all that shit on Tajikistan's dime. It was a good deal. I don't know if the little amount of warring I've done, little, haha, uh -huh, is enough to really uh, trigger. Oh, God damn it, I ran out of turn units. That sucked. Is enough to trigger a uh, terrorist crisis, but damn it, I'll go to more war. I don't have enough money to cope with a financial crisis right now, though, courtesy of the fact that I spent so much. Thank you. Thank you. You. Special operative. Good. Have a nice day, America. How many turns do I have to complete that? Turn twenty-seven. Oh, it's probably not soon enough. Oh well. Shit happens. I'm also. Now spoiled by having unlimited turn units to do things from the space program I had during the Endless Run. Let's go to war again. 25 loyalty points, nothing. Spare no expense. Only 10 million. Oh, good. All it required me was securing a, a visit from the President of the United States. More approval with liberals. Approval with fundamentalists. Let's use that approval with liberals card. There you go, liberals. Stop bitching. Bitching gets stitching. <laughs> Can't believe I just fucking said that. That's great. Alright. More drone warfare. That's good. We need money. Can't speed this up. By the dawn to we ride. All right, we pretty much squeezed America out of everything valuable. <laughs> That's right, we squeezed America. We hugged them tightly. Neat. 15 loyalty points. I like it. Oh, we got another call. This war what you got for me? If you agree to an do you agree I love money. Very well. May we achieve Lasting peace. <laughs> <laughs> That's an eight turn, like, uh, payment there. Great! I love money. 
Babelistan. Friend. Are you taking buy my stuff? I'm looking to sell you all of my goods. Oh man, this oil rig is so amazing. Apart even with the reduced value in oil, what the hell's even the point? Such delicious cash running through my body. Oh, I lost two units. It's terrible, it's dreadful. I wonder if the game's still gonna give me a discount. I'm almost tempted to find out, but there's nothing I really... Well, the chastity... Oh, I already grabbed them. Damn. Hey, fundamentalist. Oh, by the way, also, that guy is going to be pretty damn disappointed with me soon. Because I haven't been working on the great firewall of his dreams. Moving along here. Duh! Right, these folks. Yeah. These anti-Western terrorists, right? They're not related to the other terrorist group. Let's just fucking... Let's just ask the army to take... The U.S. to take care of it for us. Because we're all best bros with our military alliance right now. Yeah, there's no need for me to do anything. Good turn. Good turn. I like the turn. Just gotta save up some cash. People are complaining. Eh. Ministers work hard. They deserve those perks. How could you refute what they deserve? I haven't done anything really with foreign relations with like selling arms or like equipment or really dealing with issues. Let's go to the regional map. Babelistan, you get weapons. Excellency. Let's secure minister loyalty. I'm not seeing the crisis I want to see. Did I not stay at war long enough? It did take some turns to fucking trigger. I only have one medal. It's terrible. Only one medal. Now <sighs> oh, let's bankroll some money. Damn it. Health crisis. Alright. Thanks. Well. <laughs> Thanks, Tajikistan. Appreciate it. Thanks for covering my doctor for me. Okay. Let's just close our borders for five turns and just fucking ride it out. We're, uh, our deals are gonna be cancelled in a few turns, but what can you do, right? We're, uh, we're getting banked from Tajikistan, paying us like 15 million dollars in tithes. We'll have to just sit around and cry into our pillows. As you do. No. Don't care. Not my secret political prison. No. Okay. Good turn. Good turn. Yeah, good turn. Get out of my face with your shitty request. Hello again, Tariq. Yes. Because of M2H once. Is there yep. with an end? I didn't say you were allowed to stay in my office, though, buddy. Two new warplanes. Welcome to a mission that's not getting completed because I'm not throwing my money away on warplanes. That is a grossly inefficient usage of my funds. Something I will do, though, is sponsor the intelligence service. In the hopes that can end up triggering what well, we'll see, right? I mean, it took until like turn 70-ish for uh, a terrorist thing to pop up in the endless play, right? We're just kind of trying to trigger that before then. I don't know how well that'll work. That's what kind of we're fucking trying out with our rush here. Alright. 
Open Borders has ended up, unfortunately, still with a terrorist attack. Although we do have a CTU as well. The people are going to begin rioting soon because uh, conditions are pretty poor in our country. What with everything transpiring. It's understandable, I think. Academic cri epidemic crisis and all that. Dr. House is working on it as best he can, but, you know, shit happens. Go to hell, fundamentalist. Yes, Tariq riots. We're not uh, making that much money at all anymore, unfortunately. We are losing some cash. We are getting the intel. That's good. I like intel. Alright, let's go ahead and invoke a fundamentalist card. I'm gonna fire that guy who went to the Great Firewall after his job ends. Not making as many loyalty points per turn now? It is sad. We shall lower taxes down. Oh, this hurts. We're gonna lower them down to 1%, and then we'll hike them up to 50%. And then we'll put them at like 48%. Such is the way of things in my game. I like money. Speech time. The I I the you know, speech. Again, talk about a glorious revolution. Yeah, great speech. I will live up to zero of those campaign promises, but great speech. Yay, speech. Yes. You took the from America. Good. The crisis is over. Happy days are here again. We got some more intel this time about Donald. Let's go ahead and crank taxes back up. I should also stop paying into the disaster relief fund since we have 300 million in that cool now. Adopt model courts. Renegotiate my deals with Bellstam. Thank you. Are you taking in? This was around the time when I wanted to end the broadcast, but now I'm actually in, like, an interesting situation here. So I'm actually engrossed to continue playing. Now up to 6,200 drop frames. That's 1.1% of all drop frames drop. No! The frames. Of course, I failed the mission. She's, uh, displeased with me. Not getting as much from her as I used to. Lamentable. Let's move on. Minister is dead. Alright. Intelligence Minister is tempting, actually, to the extent that I'm actually going to adopt him over the Foreign Minister. He wants me to boost my popularity with Liberals to 74%. I could probably do that. Probably. <laughs> but we'll find out. Let's take taxes down and we'll see. Hopefully we can make it all happen. Gotta get that public approval up, baby! I don't know whether the terrorist crisis will appear while I'm at war or not. So I'm a bit, like, wary of, like, declaring a war. Or whether I need to fight more. We're just gonna wait for this to get worse. I'm not spending the money. To hell with it. More intel on Donald. But we don't need anything more from America. We really don't. Fuck it, I'm going to war. We only have one battle. That'll be a good enough fleet of units, I think. We'll beat up on Trajikistan for like five, six turns. And hopefully get this broadcast done before midnight. <clears throat> I 
In part because my voice is going, also because my posture is getting stiff, and I have been awake for a while. Okay, let's go. Ooh. Alright, I didn't even fucking bother trying to fix this problem. That's what happens whenever you don't try to fix it. You get tourism revenue declines four times. I didn't even bother to reopen my borders. I guess rip tourism money. Yeah, I ignored his request. Fucking liberals. Why aren't you happy with me? 74%, they're even more displeased. Liberals. Come on. All right, liberals. Here. Have booze. Have unions. And have money. That's totally gonna kill my jobs. So be it. The things I do for this great country. Let's keep bashing on Tajikistan. I have a bunch of loyalty points saved up too, if I need to like get tanks or some shit. God damn it! Right! The fucking liberals! Shit! Fuck! I forgot! God damn it! I was like, isn't there a reason why I want to like not upset the liberals? Fuck! Ah, Grimmage! Fuck, I'm tired. What a what a filthy casual baby mistake. Ugh. I'm disgusted with myself. Damn it, Grimmith. There'll be no peace. Not for a bit. God damn it, Grimmith. Can fucking believe you did that dumb shit. How many panels we have? Still only the one, huh? Uh, we'll allow it. Three units? What this shit game? Well, I got two. I'm sort of keeping, like, stable. I still only have the one medal? That's very sad. You make me sad, game. Why you sad make me? Yeah, still only the one medal. Oh, well, well, there goes the asteroid. What blew up? Our university blew up? Shit. Will Tajikistan pay for it again? Yay! <laughs> Thanks, bu <laughs> Thanks, buddies. Also, Lindathu. Oh, this game. All right, what card did you give me? Twenty loyalty. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll use that. I also thought I was gonna fire this person. I guess I changed my mind. Hmm. How about that? Okay. Surprisingly enough, no one's approval has really decreased from the policies I enacted to appease liberals. Although jobs went to shit, because of course they did. Let's cut the let's cut the booze. Everything back to normal, guys. Let's not get carried away here. For a moment there, we were risking like fixing liberal rights here. Whew. Glad we stopped that. We'll, uh, we'll make peace with the next, uh... Wow. Still no medals. Is what we've we've done not worthy of, of medals? Do drones not earn... Maybe drones don't earn medals. <laughs> that could be it. Medals awarded. Drones might not be worth medals. That's a very good point, Griffith. Hmm. 
blistering insight, as a matter of fact. Let's, uh, let's spend some loyalty points. Three tanks. Yeah, that's, that's very good. Glad I thought of that. Probably can't award medals to fucking, to fucking drones. It all makes sense now. We'll wait for a turn. We'll have ourselves a good fall. We'll import Bengal Tigers. No, oh, maybe they don't want to have a fight. Hey. If you agree to an armistice, to sure. I love that. Very maybe. Great deal. All right. We still only have the one medal, but we got free military units. We got a rocket battery. Battery. And if need be, I'll I'll beat them up again. So we'll give it like another, I guess, ten turns or something. We'll see. I'm continuing to crank that intel. Highly developed intelligence infrastructure, great. I'm glad. Still haven't opened my borders. I guess I'm still not going to open my borders. Yay! We successfully rescued the Separatists. Karifis are sad. That sounds like not my problem. We're still trading the goods, right? Yes. Poorly educated, can we pander to them? Liberals did not even give a shit. Well, that was sad. Tajikistan. Hmm. Fascinating. They're really interested in goats and would love to import goats. I have no goats for them, though. Not a, not a single goat was given on this day. Come along, game. Bah. We'll do what we can for the Karifi people, as if I really care about them, though. Alright, getting more intel. That's great. That's neat. We'll approve that asylum request. Got any terrorists out there for me? Mm, liberal approval is continuing to decline, much to my eternal regret and dismay. It's like they want me to do something for them. There. We'll rebalance that out. To make them less sad. <laughs> Perhaps even sad free. Roll in loyalty points. Mm, we'll make immediate reforms. Liberals did not even give a shit. The, I, I, the, the, Eradicating poverty is a big deal. The, we'll give you that stuff. Uh, I have a statue. That was terrible, Grimoth. They didn't really care about the statue because that didn't fit with eradicating poverty, but you wanted to promise them a statue anyway. They deserve the statue. You want me to make an intelligence discovery within the next nine turns, huh? I'll try. <laughs> I hope, like, if I can... I hope this thing will pop up. Are you taking... I'd like to see it again and see whether, like, the actions I took will genuinely, like, replicate it. Oh, well, we're gonna let it go. Sonia just attacked us. Okay. Well, that's really dumb, Sonia. Thanks, random event. We're now at war. Ta -da! Not quite at war with the person I thought we'd be at war. Oh, now Tajikistan loves us because apparently we're fighting their enemy, I guess. Great. Let's go murder them. 
The game has decided that we would be at war. So be it. This is a little annoying to move all of the military units. But I've complained about this interface before. Hold on. And finally, we'll, uh, oh yeah, the tanks are all fully moved and everything because of our super prepared doctrine, along with our military readiness doctrine, we'll just attack now. Ah, uh, outlawed. We lost three units in a battle. Bye, Luca. It's certainly been exciting. It's been a blast. We're certainly discovering things a lot more with our intelligence minister, which is good. That's kind of what I wanted to fucking do. We're going to get more military units. Bye, Cranky. get two more tank brigades. This is only a normal difficulty thing. Instead of a hard difficulty... Hmm, maybe I should have put it on hard difficulty after all. To uh, increase the odds of, like, this game going on long enough. For, uh... The, uh, the shit to appear. I just figured I might be able to easily bumble into this thing within like 30 to 40 turns. Here we are, fucking turn 50, though. I'd like to lower drone prices. That's pretty useful. What's up? This war what will you pay me? You agree to, do you agree? Nah. I know that was 15 million. But now I just kind of like want to stay at war. Did anyone get a medal? No, no medals. Not a single medal was given on this day. Sonia, you decided to fight me through an event by an illegal, not illegal, but horribly illicit and rude attack. Yeah, sure, we'll side with them. All right, let's just lose five units and just completely vomit them out. <laughs> Fucking Sonny out here. Do we have any, like, intel on how what their strength is? No. Other than it hurts. Thankfully, drones are cheaper. Let's move more to the front. Yeah, how do you like this shit whenever I don't put my money in the Swiss bank account and instead just engage in this constant warfare for great rewards and profit? We'll accept the next peace deal that comes across my table. <laughs> of course, if a peace deal doesn't come across my table... Can't control that. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Right. I I trashed the the foreign minister for the intelligence guy. Right. I forgot. Oh well. Um. I guess we're just gonna keep going through the rest of the game then. I guess it's too late in the game to see the terrorist crisis, or maybe you can only see them on like a a hard mode or endless mode or. Maybe I just got unlucky, or didn't perform the seance. I guess I'll just pick this new mission. And this new thing that I never tried before. It's not new, I just never tried it before. Tolerate Farouk's manifesto and commit to peaceful negotiations with the Karifi Separatists. Because I've never done it before. We're here to explore new content, right? Also, I just thought about building the, the printing press, but uh, I wouldn't make enough money back for it to be worth it. for the, uh, the coup at the end of the game. Hmm. Let's, uh, recall units back in land. We'll buy two more drones. I don't really know whether those, uh, influence the, the outcome of uh, the Civil War or whatever, the coup, because I don't think they actually add any troop value on account of them being drones, I guess. Uh, Civil War in Tajikistan. I don't care. What do you want? Two new warplanes? Really? <sighs> also, still swimming in all this intel like it's fucking helping me, right? Why don't we just cut down, cut that down. I need more money for troops. Greedy capitalists will be taking your money. Thanks. Put it in my pocket. Have a nice day. What do you want? Reverse engineering? You want me to... Alright. Oh, it's a uh, it's an infrastructure thing. Reverse engineering. He wants me to grab that within the next seven turns. Kind of busy right now, sir. Don't think reverse engineering is really going to save this country. We'll uh, raid the rural communities and arrest growers. Well, I got some more intel at least. That's nice. You spent billions on modern on military modernization. Like, that really helped you. We're going to prohibit foreign adoption. We're going to keep our babies in this great country. Thank you. Appreciate it. Liberals continuing to be sad face while everyone else plays ball. Because, of course, that's what fucking liberals do. You get two new tank brigades. We're probably spending more money on military readiness than we need to. But I'm kind of addicted to it now. Keeping everyone on that fucking exclamation point. So, there we go. Alright, Farouk is, uh... Or whatever the hell is going to happen is going to happen next turn. Let's see it. Oh, conscription event right now. Yes, please. The Basenji National Dialogue brought together Basenji and ethnic Karifi citizens to promote reform and encourage discussion on the governance of the country. While the negotiations were positive and substantive at first, Karifi solidarity started to crumble as some local leaders felt that too much was being given up. Several radical Karif liberation groups pulled from the talks two weeks in. You received a great deal of criticism and lost a lot of support by failing to conclude a peaceful outcome that satisfied all party interests, parties' interest. Farouk and several ethnically Karif ministers have capitalized on this failure, portraying your leadership as weak or corrupt. Karifi protesters have rallied across all three major cities for what they are calling a Wednesday ultimatum, demanding full independence from Basenji. Clashes with police and soldiers have turned deadly in some areas, with reported instances of troops firing live ammunition into crowds of protesters. At least 45 were killed and more than 700 were injured in a violent display of force at Ed Alha Public Park. After the violence, Farouk and other Karifi cabinet ministers have condemned the brutality of your forces and pledged their solidarity with the Karifi. And we've seen this CNN reporters thing again. All right, we're going to be fighting the secessionists, so this is going to be another civil war event. Yep, I totally ignored your request. Okay. Yep. USA relations. Didn't actually move the slider at all there. I feel cheated. 
or maybe it's moving it now. Oh, okay. Military approval. Cyber warfare. I don't really think I need to punch the rest of these but those buttons this turn. Why don't we wait for next turn? There's not gonna be a next turn. Who am I kidding? This war's fucking over. Well, it's certainly been a fun run, guys. Our mad blitz to fucking see whether I could get this damn terrorist organization to pop up. At least we saw the event during the endless run. At least we saw it. I saw it. So it's there. It's a thing. Don't fucking know whether I can replicate it, but damn it, I saw it. Okay. This fucking, this fucking thing's over. I support this idea. No, not over. How about that? How about that? They actually have some troops left over. Holy shit. I've won this in one turn before. This won't be a total curb stomp. Maybe it's because most of my stuff is still drones. Who can say? I still have troops. It, I still have units on the border. I guess I'll just have to win this in two turns, guys. I'm sorry. We'll be watching you, Sonya. So what did I do different uh, in the endless run? with the warfare, other than just drag it like a fight on for a really long time. Don't have time for your veteran's aid right now. Yep, they suck. They lose. Farouk vanished. Free elections. They love me. I'm amazing. There's my score. Not the best run I've had, because I didn't focus on score. Rush. Well. takes care of uh, Rogue State, folks. This will probably be my last broadcast of Rogue State, too. I I surfed endless mode for ten in-game years. Didn't get a whole hell of a lot from it, and the game, as clear proven, doesn't possess much of a challenge without me imposing serious conditions on myself. I, of course, haven't demonstrated what happens if you flub up the epidemic crisis. Or the terrorist crisis event that sort of like popped up. Maybe they fucking bomb you and take you out too. Hell if I know, but eh. at this point, if I fucking care, like I did it. Uh, so I know that I did it. <laughs> and that's all that matters to me. I saw the content. Uh, and uh, as far as I'm concerned, the game is done. There might be a few other event chains swimming around in there that I just haven't seen, but Rogue State has been pummeled thoroughly into the ground. It was enjoyable for the price of free. Because, uh... I did receive the game at no charge. It was one I was going to buy anyway. Uh, but the game's publisher sent me a free serial key. But yeah, that takes care of Rogue State. It's been entertaining. I've certainly seen some new shit. I don't think it was uh, a waste of time. It was worthwhile. But, uh, I think... I think after what we just surfed through in Endless. Unless there's all sorts of crazy fucking Leviathans happen, uh, hiding out there. And, uh... An endless, I think. I think I'm good. We even saw some bugs along the way that were supposedly fixed. A Trajikistan paid for so much of my infrastructure in that rush run. Good times. Uh, yep. It was good. 